In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. While we can assume legendary NBA star Shaquille O'Neal has been spending time with his family during the lockdown and following government orders, we can also assume he's doing it in style. The man is far from just a former basketball star. He's built an empire from a bunch of different endeavors, and it's allowed him to buy more than one gorgeous mansion. We'll look at where Shaq calls home, we even found the listings. Shaquille Shaq O'Neal is a former pro basketball player and now a sports analyst on Inside the NBA on TNT. He's widely considered one of the greatest players in NBA history and played for six teams over his 19 year career. Although he's received many awards and accomplishments throughout his basketball career, it's definitely not the only thing he's known for. Shaq has released four rap albums, with the first even going platinum, appeared in numerous films, hosted reality shows, and much more. You can also call him Dr. Shaq. Yep, if all that success wasn't enough, he even completed his PhD because the man apparently loves to learn. What uh, motivated me to continue is, you know, this is the field that I wanted to be in, organizational leadership. So as I was studying, uh, you know, the experts, uh, you know, the John C. Maxwell, the Hersey's and Blanchard's, you know, I realized that, you know, some of the techniques that, that, that they apply were some of the techniques <coughs> that I was already using. Shaq's estimated net worth is said to be around $400 million or more. It's also reported he's the joint owner of 155 Five Guys Burger restaurants, 17 Auntie Annie's pretzel restaurants, 150 car washes, 40 24 hour fitness centers, a shopping mall, a movie theater, and several Las Vegas nightclubs. Damn, so the man really does do it all. First home we'll take a look at is Shaq's previous place on the West Coast. He bought this property back in early 2018 for 1.8 mil, and it was in the Bell Canyon area, which is just just a few miles from Kanye and Kim's place. Although it's next to Hidden Hills in Calabasas, it's a slightly lower key neighborhood than that. The basketball star previously listed the home with an LA based real estate agency around the end of 2019, but withdrew the listing and decided to try a new approach, Instagram. Yep, Shaq posted a video earlier this year giving his millions of followers a look inside his LA mansion, located in a gated equestrian community. He was selling the place for 2.5 mil by the sounds of his captions, so let's take a look inside. Shaq's Bell Canyon mansion spanned 5,217 square feet of living space with 5 beds and 4.5 baths. It was situated on a gorgeous 1 acre lot where privacy was aplenty. According to Shaq himself, it was an open floor plan with 2 story foyer, which we can see from the photos is definitely grand. There are white marble floors and a sweeping staircase. The entry leads to a formal living room with vaulted beam ceilings and another living area with porcelain floors. Attached is the chef's kitchen which has marble counters, custom cabinets and stainless steel appliances. This first floor also includes two dining rooms, a wine closet slash wet bar, a media room, a laundry room, an office and one of the bedrooms. The entire home has an airy feel and the soaring ceilings were definitely a necessity for a resident as tall as Shaq is. Shaq updated the property over the years, including new carpeting, custom closets, and landscaping upgrades, according to Compass, who previously held the listing before Shaq took it into his own hands. Upstairs, you'll find the master suite and additional guest rooms. Shaq's previous room had a fireplace, dual walk-in closets, and ensuite bath with jacuzzi tub. Outside on the grounds of the house, there's of course a heated pool and spa, as well as a fire pit with ample patio space to kick back and relax. Shaq's IG listing also added that the house is walking distance from the community center, state of the art gym, and tennis courts. Handy. Now we can move on to Shaq's insane estate in Florida, which he listed just before the one in LA. The mega estate was custom designed for Shaq and apparently full of exquisite details curated to deliver the ultimate luxury experience. The property is located in the posh gated golf community of Islesworth, which was also home to Tiger Woods and former NSYNC member Joey Fatone. The affluent community is located outside Windermere, Florida near Orlando, which means it's gotta be close to Disney, so I'm jealous already. Shaq's mansion sat on three acres, of course on 700 feet of lakefront, and he purchased it way back in 1993 for 3.95 mil. Back then it was a 23,000 square foot neo-colonial home and you bet Shaq fixed this place up. It doesn't even resemble the same home anymore, which is why he was able to list it for 28 mil. You'll see. 
His Florida mega mansion boasts 31,000 square feet of living space, and from aerial views, it looks more like a resort. There are 12 beds and over 11.5 baths, apparently, and luxury amenities at every turn. Inside, Shaq's house offers large open doorways, double height ceilings, and beautifully handcrafted wood paneling throughout. There's a formal dining room with seats for 16 and an epic 1,170 square foot great room with two story ceilings, a marble fireplace, and glass walls. Nearby, you'll find a chef's kitchen, games room, a gentleman's office, and a cigar bar with walk in humidor and wine storage. The lakeside mansion also has a 6,000 square foot indoor basketball court and an aquarium style room with salt water triangular fish tank. From photos, I can also see some Egyptian style room which looks more like a museum and I'm not sure what that was for. Other luxury amenities include a soundproof home theater, a gallery hall designed for an art collection, and additional wet bars and fireplaces throughout. On the main level of Shaq's Florida Palace, there's a guest wing with five ensuite bedrooms, a great room, and a bar. The upper level of the home also has a master bedroom area spanning 900 square feet with a balcony. Also here were the additional ensuite guest rooms and a four room master closet with custom shelving. Shaq is also known for his impressive car collection, so of course the home had a showroom like garage, as well as a 2100 square foot secondary garage with dance studio and recording studio. The fully walled and gated grounds of the home are just as impressive as the inside, and I'm not surprised the star called his swimming complex here Shakapolko. Outside there was a 95 foot long, 15 foot deep pool with custom rock waterfall, sunken hot tub, and tiki style open cabana overlooking Lake Butler. If you're wondering where Shaq lives now, now, word is that when he listed his other mansions in the market, he moved to Georgia. He bought this mansion some years ago in 2016, according to records, for $1.15 million. His mansion is located in McDonough, Georgia, which is about 30 miles from Atlanta and sits in over 14 acres of sprawling countryside. There are two homes on Shaq's property, the main structure built in 2008 with the smaller one constructed in 2006. Combined, they offer over 7,400 square feet of living space with 8 beds and 10 baths. This mansion has a classic and elegant design, and the main home is brickline traditional. Walking in, there's a two-story foyer with large staircase, as well as an office and gourmet kitchen with granite counters, and a state-of-the-art appliances on the main level. There's a formal living room with fireplace here, large dining room, and a more casual family room attached to the kitchen. This overlooks the pool, offering walls of windows, and another stone fireplace. Shaq's master suite is also located on the main level of the home and has a window lined sitting area, marble ensuite bath with jacuzzi tub and TV, as well as his massive his and hers closets. There's also a finished basement level in the main house, which has a 12 seat home movie theater, games room, and a gym. Not to mention an in law suite that's completely private. Outside on the park like grounds of Shaq's Georgia estate, of course, there's a swimming pool and spa. Across from this, the second residence offers three beds, two baths, and attached sun porch. Elsewhere on his property, there's a three stall barn and an attached spacious workshop. Rolling lawns and mature trees fill the grounds. Although Shaq doesn't have a showroom like garage for his car collection here, he does have a large motor court which sits off the entrance to the home. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> this is a... Uh... So yeah, the house that Jordan built. <laughs> I mean, that might actually be... <laughs> 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 Not only is Michael Jordan considered the greatest NBA player of all time, he's also the first athlete to become a billionaire, making him the richest. He's retired from ball these days, but he spends his downtime relaxing in a pretty lavish mansion. He's owned multi-million dollar estates all over the US from Chicago to Park City and where he's currently at these days. In this video, we'll give you all the details on his $20 million custom Florida mansion, his past homes, and more. Michael Jordan is a former pro basketball player, duh, and like I said, dubbed the best NBA player there ever was. He now owns a Charlotte Hornets NBA team after playing 15 seasons in the league himself and winning six championships with the Chicago Bulls. He was one of the best marketed athletes and helped to popularize the NBA in the 80s and the 90s. Remember Space Jam? Recently, basketball fans are hyped thanks to a new series on Netflix. Despite the worldwide pandemic bringing the NBA to a halt, there's something for ball fans to watch on Sunday night. The Last Dance is a 10-part 
miniseries slash documentary about Michael and the Chicago Bulls, and reviews say it's a must watch for anyone who loves the sport. But today we're focusing less on the new MJ show and more on his real estate. Like I said, Michael is the first billionaire athlete and his income these days is way more than his salary during his career. Aside from his money from when he used to play, he earns a lot owning the Hornets and of course all his product endorsements and deals over the years like Air Jordan. Michael's current estimated net worth is at 2.1 billion US dollars. First we'll take a look at Michael's previous mansion in Chicago that served as the family home for more than two decades. As of fall 2019, this place was still for sale and has actually been on the market for a whopping eight years. I'll tell you why in just a moment. His mansion is located in Highland Park, Illinois. It's just 25 miles or so north of downtown Chicago and it's one of the wealthiest areas to live in. It's right by the water too, so it's clear to see why Michael chose his neighborhood. He had the home and surrounding property built from scratch in order to suit his personal tastes. Of course, Michael called Chicago home for quite some time thanks to his successful career with the Bulls. The mansion was built in a modern style back in 1995 and then renovated again in 2009, sitting on 7.39 acres of land. Inside, Michael's previous home spans an insane 56,000 square feet and has more than you could ever imagine. There are 9 beds and 15 baths spread across 3 floors. You can tell immediately that this is the legend's house considering the gate at the front has his number 23 right in the middle. In fact, there's a lot through the house that is all about Mr. Jordan, so a new resident would have to change a lot to make it their own. There's a long drive up to the home from the gate covered by trees that ensures privacy. Upon walking into the Chicago mansion, there's an epic entryway and the common areas resemble more of a luxury resort than a family home. There are plenty of living spaces like a piano room, family rooms, and more than one great room. One set of doors on the main floor is actually from the original Playboy Mansion in Chicago. There's a games room, a large sitting room and dining room with a Baghdad table, where the tabletop is based on the streets of that city. There are other detailed eating areas too, like a massive kitchen with a beautiful skylight over the eating area. Other features of Michael's previous mansion include a movie theater and a lounge, cigar room, poker room, huge wine cellar and a wet bar. What was said to be MJ's fave room in the home is apparently the upstairs library which also had a drop down movie screen. There's also a full home gym where Michael and the Bull teammates used to work out every morning and we can't forget the basketball court. Of course, the indoor regulation sized court reads Jordan on the floor and has motorized backboards and the Jumpman logo at center court. In between the main home and the guest wing, there's an entertainment pavilion beneath a row of skylights. Leading to the back patio, there's a room with a 110 inch movie screen that used to be an indoor pool. This room is renovated with sliding walls on each side to be an indoor outdoor style room. Elsewhere on the massive property, there's a three bedroom guest house with a family room and kitchen, as well as a climate controlled 15 car garage. Outside is equally as impressive, offering a full tennis court, large patio, putting green, pond with fish, and infinity pool with a grass island in the center. Despite how amazing this mansion is, Michael's clearly having trouble selling it. It's been on the market since 2012 and was even in an auction in 2013, but the minimum bid was never met. Apparently the home was first for sale at 29 million and has since it's had to be listed for as low as 14.9 million. The exact price is $14,855,000 and the numbers add up to 23, Jordan's number. There are a few reasons why Michael may be struggling to unload this place, one of them being all the personal customizations. They'd be a lot for someone to change. The neighborhood is also more modest than somewhere like Beverly Hills per se, so the home is a bit much. People also want to be a bit closer to Lake Michigan if they're spending that much on property, not to mention the taxes. The annual bill is about 100k. In 2013, MJ invested in some other real estate, a gorgeous lakefront home in North Carolina. This makes sense considering the team he owns is based out of the same state and he grew up in North Carolina. The mansion is located in Cornelius, which is a lakeside town in North Carolina, offering miles and miles of shoreline and only 22 miles from uptown Charlotte. It sits right on Lake Norman and the Peninsula Golf Club. Public records show that the Jordan Family Gift Trust was listed as purchasing this place for 2.8 million after it was foreclosed on. Michael's North Carolina estate is impressive at first glance thanks to the large pillars, surrounding gate and front steps. Upon walking in, you're greeted by the huge entry with double height ceilings, winding stairs, and windows all over. The listing at the time said this home had stunning panoramic lake views from almost every room, and I'm not surprised. It houses 6 beds, 8 baths, and spans 12,310 square feet of living space. The property is also big, sitting on over an acre of land. Everything in Michael's lakeside house looks grand 
as you move from room to room. Features include a two-story great room that opens out to the main terrace and an expansive basement with gym and entertainment center. There's all the luxury amenities you could imagine, including a pool and the fact that it's surrounded by water on three sides, not to mention the private dock and walkway. I'm not sure if Michael spends more time in this North Carolina mansion or the other home he bought around the same time. Apparently this next mansion is Michael's main family home at the moment. It took 6 months of planning and 18 months of construction, but he managed to create his dream house. This place is located in Jupiter, Florida, the northernmost town of Palm Beach. The land costs Michael 4.8 million and construction costs at least 7.6 million. So after finishing touches and furnishings, Michael's custom estate would be worth well over 20 million. You'd think a home at this price would be on the water if you're in the Sunshine State, but surprisingly it's not. It is however located in the super exclusive Bears Club community which is heavily gated, guarded and private, known for its celebrity residents. The membership initiation fee alone is 350 k and then there are monthly dues. Michael's mansion spans a gigantic 28,000 square feet with 11 bedrooms and 11.5 bathrooms. To make the size of the home a little less obnoxious looking, it's designed with 18 separate roof lines in the architecture, creating a home within a home look. The style of Michael's home is quite modern and although we haven't seen much of the interior, we do know some of the features. There's a separate pool or guest house as well as a two-story guard house. The main residence is separated into more than one wing, including an athletic wing with a full basketball court, obviously. There's also a media room that's built to handle massive amounts of smoke. The heavy-duty ventilation system is in place so Michael can enjoy all the cigars he wants, we know he loves them. Although the mansion isn't on the beach, at least we can see that Michael has an enormous pool and spa out back. Hey guys, I was expecting you. Come on into my crib. Welcome. Scottie Pippen's 12th season run with the Chicago Bulls in the 80s and 90s, during which time the team got six NBA championships, may be long behind him, but this past summer, fans got to relive his glory days with the documentary The Last Dance. The basketball star also recently opened the doors to his gorgeous Chicago mansion for Architectural Digest and showed off the home he continues to maintain in the Windy City. While Scotty reportedly spends much of his time in Los Angeles, he still owns a Chicago house and a place in Florida. We'll be taking a look at where Scotty calls home, we even found some of the listings. Scotty Maurice Pippen is a former basketball player who played 17 seasons with the NBA, winning 6 championships with the Chicago Bulls. Scotty, along with Michael Jordan, played a pivotal role in transforming the Bulls into a championship team and popularizing the NBA around the world in the 90s. Considered one of the greatest small forwards of all time, Scotty was named to the NBA All Defensive First Team 8 consecutive times and the All NBA First Team 3 times. He's a 7 time NBA All Star and the only player in the league to have won an NBA title and Olympic gold medal in the same year, not once, but twice, both in 92 and 96. I could go on and on about Scotty's titles and accomplishments, but I think you get the idea. Scotty's personal life has also been the subject of tabloids, whether it was his on and off again relationship with ex-wife Larsa, or the fact that he's had seven children with four different women over the years. Regardless, these days it seems that Mr. Pippen is single and was spending quarantine with his kids in one of his mansions. In 2012, Bleach a report named Scotty as one of the most financially irresponsible players in the history of the NBA, claiming he blew away 120 million with poor financial decisions. However, his current estimated net worth is still said to be anywhere between 30 to 50 million dollars, so all things considered, that ain't bad at all. South Florida is well suited to the luxury lifestyles of the rich and famous, and that includes Mr. Scotty Pippen. It seems that the waterfront properties and palm trees weren't enough to keep him though, considering he's been trying to sell his mega mansion here for about a decade. Located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Scotty and ex wife Larsa Pippen used to call this impressive estate home. The six time NBA champ and initially listed his incredible tropical paradise in 2010 for $16 million, although it was privately offered as far back as January 2009. Since then, it's been bouncing on and off the market, at one point even offered as a luxury rental for 40 k per month. Don't get it twisted though, the Venetian style mansion is gorgeous. It's located in Harbor Beach, one of Fort Lauderdale's most exclusive neighborhoods, and comes with views of a sparkling canal that leads to the ocean. Property records show that Scotty paid $1.34 million for this double wide parcel of land back in October 2000, and proceeded to have a Mediterranean revival style mansion custom designed here. The home was conceived and 
and built by award-winning architect Randall Stoff and spans over 9,700 square feet of space inside with six beds and 7.5 baths. There's also every luxury amenity you could dream of and I'd imagine some extra tall doorways to accommodate Mr. Pippin's 6 foot 8 inch frame. The mega mansion has a double height entryway with winding staircase and skylights and nearby there's a formal living room with floor to ceiling windows and a huge marble fireplace. Other common spaces include a gourmet eating kitchen with sprawling island and updated appliances, a great room with vaulted ceilings and sliding doors to the outside, as well as an attached dining room with classy chandelier. The main floor also offers a second dining room fitted with a glass table. Most of the bedrooms are upstairs, including Scotty's master suite he no doubt shared with ex-wife Larsa, which has a sitting area with rotunda ceiling and a huge bed. There's also a private balcony and marble ensuite bath. Elsewhere, the Florida mansion offers an elevator games room, large gym, and home movie theater. Outside on the property, there's 215 feet of canal frontage with private dock, as well as a lagoon-style pool and spa with water slide. There are numerous covered terraces and patio spaces, a built-in barbecue center, a putting green, and even a massive tennis court. So I wasn't kidding when I said the place had a ton of luxury amenities. Despite having all this to offer, Scotty still wants to sell the mega home, but still with no luck. If you're interested, it seems to be on the market. Hey guys, I was expecting you. Come on into my crib. Now for the house that you may be a little more familiar with. Earlier this month, Scotty opened up his massive doors for Architectural Digest to show off his mansion in Chicago. Located in Highland Park, Illinois, a suburban city on the north shore of Chicago, Scotty bought this property back in 2004. He claims to spend a lot of his time these days in LA, but this has always been his part-time residence. According to his Instagram, we can see Scotty and his kids have also been spending a lot of quarantine at a more tropical looking residence. I'm guessing in Florida or California because of all the palm trees, but I don't have all the deets. I mean, the Chicago mansion does have an impressive pool, so there's a chance it could be this house too. Anyways, a private gated entry opens up to Scotty's 3.3 acre park-like oasis. The interior of the home spans over 13,000 square feet with a bright, spacious, and modern design, as well as seven beds and 9.5 baths. There's a two-story foyer and a dramatic family room nearby, opening up to a modern chef's kitchen with two sub-zero fridges, double oven, island, and large eating area. You may not expect it after all the amenities I'm about to show you, but Scotty calls the kitchen with its white traditional cabinetry the coolest place in the house. He also adds, I like hanging out in here. I like cooking. I like sitting here in the morning. You're able to watch the sunrise. I mean, that is one nice kitchen. The entire mansion seems to have a comfortable open floor plan, making it ideal for someone with a big family like Scotty. The home has staircases with sleek glass railings and windows all over. According to listing materials, the home was perfectly expanded with a separate wing featuring two bedrooms as well a loft. Scotty's master suite though is the epitome of luxury. The grand bedroom has not one but two separate baths, a sitting area, private movie theater setup, as well as a dream closet. Also upstairs, there's a huge array of Scotty's awards on display, including replicas of his NBA championship trophies, his 1994 All-Star MVP trophy, and multiple ESPY awards. These are all in what he calls the family trophy case, along with some of his kids' prizes. My key has got a few things in there as well, so... It's kind of turned out to be a little family trophy case. Of course, cold Chicago winters mean indoor activities are a must. I would know since I live in Toronto, but unlike Pippin's mansion, my place doesn't feature an amenity full basement like his. The lower level of Scotty's home is jam packed with a wine cellar, a home movie theater where he can watch his fave movie Die Hard, a small gym area, a sauna, an air hockey table, and even a vintage Mrs. Pac Man arcade game. Just when you thought I was done, he has a massive indoor basketball court. I mean, would you expect anything less? from an NBA All-Star. Emblazoned on the floor is an image of Scotty's red number 33 Bulls jersey, and the room is a favorite of his kids. I can see why. He said, Basketball has been my life. My kids sort of follow my dream of wanting to be professional basketball player one day, so this was an addition that was added to the house. They're always in here hooping and playing at 1, 2 in the morning, so I felt like this was a great investment. Moving outside, the backyard offers lush grassy lawns and perfect landscaping. There's a pool with a water slide, his grill, and an outdoor TV that ensures Scotty never misses a basketball game. Elsewhere, you'll find the putting green where he practices chipping because he plays with some pretty good golfers, including his former teammate and friend Michael Jordan, who he apparently hasn't beaten. 
With the NBA playoffs happening in full force, the GOAT, AK LeBron James, is back and this time facing his old team. Off the court, he's also been making headlines for a recent purchase and a pretty huge one at that, a new $36.7 million mansion. LeBron already owns two mansions in Brentwood, California and another sprawling residence in Akron, Ohio. But when you're as successful as him, you can afford to collect lavish real estate. We'll take a look at the NBA star's homes including his newest addition and we even found some of the listings. LeBron James is a professional basketball player for the NBA and widely considered one of the greatest players in NBA history as well as one of the most influential athletes. He is currently playing for the Los Angeles Lakers but has played for the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Miami Heat in the past. Considering it's the Lakers versus the Heat for this year's NBA playoffs, that makes it even more interesting. LeBron's teams have played in 8 consecutive NBA Finals and 10 Finals in total between his time on the Heat, Cavaliers and Lakers. His accomplishments include 3 NBA Championships, 4 NBA MVP Awards, 3 Finals MVP Awards and 2 Olympic Gold Medals, just to name a few. He's compared to the likes of legendary Michael Jordan and is regarded at that level of basketball greatness. With LeBron facing his former team this year and the Heat serving up some amazing players in their own right, I think these are going to be some intense finals. Not to mention, LeBron has an MVP caliber sidekick in Anthony Davis to help him bring the Lakers to glory. I guess we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. Off the court, LeBron has garnered additional wealth from numerous endorsement deals with companies from Coca-Cola to Nike to McDonald's and more. Between his NBA earnings and all of the extra income, the GOAT's net worth is currently estimated at about $480 million. Although the deal was reported back in July, only last week did LeBron close on his $36.7 million residential upgrade in Beverly Hills, a multi-compound structure, packing fantastic views and a Hollywood history. It makes sense that LeBron would treat himself now nearing the end of a great NBA season with the Lakers. This way, whether they win or lose the playoffs, he'll have a brand new mansion to retreat to. Built in the 1930s, the colorful Mediterranean-esque villa was owned for years by Charles Boyer, an Oscar-nominated leading man actor of that era who starred in a number of black and white classic films. After this, the estate was also owned by Howard Howard Hughes, who although never lived in it, rented the palatial home to his ex-flame Catherine Hepburn, who called this place home during the height of her Hollywood career. More recently, since 1986, the home belonged to Lee Philip Bell, co-creator of soap operas like The Young and the Restless, and her business partner husband William J. Bell. When Mr. Bell passed in 95, the soap opera royalty Lee continued to live here until her own passing earlier this year. During the couple's many years of ownership, they made sure the estate was lovingly maintained and beautifully landscaped. Although they bought the home way back for $2.9 million as per tax records, they significantly upgraded and restored the place so it was worth a whole lot more by 2020. Off Benedict Canyon and behind a long private driveway, LeBron and his family will enjoy 2.5 acres of sprawling land in a desirable area of Beverly Hills. There's a large motor court for all his wheels, a courtyard, and the property boasts amazing views from downtown LA to the ocean, even to the Santa Monica Mountains. Inside, the home spans a whopping 13,000 square feet of space with four beds and eight baths. The main house spans 9,100 square feet and there are two separate detached guest houses. There's also a pool house with two baths, rounding out the rest of that square footage. The main mansion contains two suites, multiple entertaining areas and seven fireplaces. Lavish interiors include a sunlight flooded living room with a vaulted ceiling and exposed beams, a gorgeous dining room set beneath a huge skylight and a carpeted library with built-in bookcases. Elsewhere where you'll find a cozy movie theater with one of the fireplaces here, perfect for LeBron since I heard he's got a big movie deal with Warner Brothers. Outside on the park-like grounds, aside from the guest homes, there are multiple dining and entertaining patios as well as a lighted tennis court. Of course, to go with the pool house, there has to be a pool and there's a beautiful oval-shaped one here watched over by a giant gold Buddha. Fun fact, LeBron made roughly $37 million this season from his NBA contract with the Lakers alone, so yeah, the man could afford this mansion, all the while keeping his other two. What a hoarder. As I mentioned, LeBron continues to own not one but two other mansions, both in the Brentwood area of Los Angeles. This home LeBron purchased in 2017, costing him $23 million, and it's his main residence at the time. It's also the mansion frequently shown on LeBron's Instagram, and we can see he spent a lot of time with his kids here before the NBA season started, and while lockdown was in effect. It was built in 2017, meaning it was all new at the time of move-in, and has a modern vibe with marble in almost every room. Inside, it spans just under 16,000 square feet with 8 beds and 11 baths. 
There are natural French oak floors throughout the home, an open living plan on the main floor, floor to ceiling windows, and a neutral white focused color palette throughout. There's also an indoor outdoor flow between the living spaces and yard. One of the main living rooms has full sliding glass doors, making you feel as if you're outside already. Rounding out the main floor, you'll find additional family and dining rooms, as well as the custom chef's kitchen with French range and black and white marble. Other highlights include a custom office for working on his business deals, a games room, a home movie theater, a cigar room, and a lower level with Onyx bar and expansive wine cellar. Just when you thought the upper level of LeBron's mansion was the highest you could get, past the bedrooms and his luxury master suite, you can take the home's elevator to the rooftop terrace offering breathtaking views. In an interview with Business Insider, LeBron said he works out five days a week in the off season and every day during the NBA season. His home gym at this mansion is half indoors, half outdoors, and connects with a steam room, sauna, spa, and massage room to cool down after exercising. Moving outside, the impressive features just keep going. There's a marble patio, heated dining area with long table, and outdoor kitchen with barbecue and beer taps. Elsewhere, you'll find the oversized pool and spa. Before we go, let's quickly take a look at LeBron's third LA house. This one is also located in Brentwood, and he bought it back in 2015 for a ported 21 million. By the sounds of it, the man doesn't like to spend under eight figures for his home. It was designed by mansion specialist Ken Unger and custom built in 2011 for a real estate developer and his family. Inside, the colonial style mansion measures 9,350 square feet with six beds and seven baths. This stone and white brick home is gorgeous, but apparently most of the time it remains vacant. I mean, now LeBron has two bigger, better mansions to dwell in, so I can't say I'm surprised. The interior is fitted with ample living and dining rooms with fireplaces and wood planked floors. There are also casual areas like a cook friendly kitchen, window line breakfast nook, and a family room spilling out into the backyard. Other features of the house include a master suite with two way fireplace, private sitting room and terrace, as well as outdoor highlights like a lap lane swimming pool and open air cabana. So I think I'll bring this updated house tour to an end here. If we can draw one conclusion, is that LeBron James only chooses the best of the best and the most expensive when it comes his LA mansions. Oh, and that he likes having a handful of properties to choose from at a time. He also owns an estate in his home of Ohio located in Summit County just northwest of Akron. He bought this property back in 2003, building a 30,000 square foot mansion here with 19 rooms in total, sitting on seven acres of sprawling land. Anthony Davis, or as he's affectionately referred to by his many fans, The Brow, is an American basketball player with an estimated net worth of $60 million. With that type of money, he's not only winning NBA playoff games, he's also winning at life. These days, he's said to split his time between two amazing mansions in LA. Born in Chicago, Illinois, David played his high school ball in the Windy City at Perspective Charter School in Chicago. By 2011, he had become the number one prospect in the country and was scouted by athletic programs of all sorts, like Ohio State, Syracuse University and the school he ultimately declared to, the University of Kentucky. During Anthony's one season at Kentucky, his team would go on to win the NCAA championship tournament. By 2012, New Orleans drafted Anthony with the number one pick and he would go on to become a seven-time NBA All-Star and be named to the All-NBA First Team four different times. In 2015, Anthony signed a five-year $127 million contract with New Orleans that is set to expire with a play your option this coming summer, or whenever the season finally ends. Guess we've already passed the summer at this point, haven't we? Free agency is a huge time in every athlete's life. Not only do they have to decide what team they want to play for, they need to figure out where they want to relocate their family and spend the next handful of years living. Davis is a particularly interesting case study. Last year, while still under contract with New Orleans, he forced himself off the team after many seasons always ended the same way, in bitter disappointment. The Pelicans agreed to trade Anthony Davis to the Lakers for Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, and three first round picks. Anthony forced his hand and his agency got him treated to his destination of choice, the Los Angeles Lakers, to play alongside the GOAT LeBron James. Of course, it just so happens that Davis had also recently purchased a beautiful home in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Westlake Village, and that probably had something to do with LA being his destination of choice, right? It's an absolutely gorgeous home, but the kicker is, even when Davis is in LA, he's actually living it up out of home he rents in Bel Air for the tidy sum of oh, only 50k a month. 
month. Talk about having options. We're gonna kick things off with a home that Anthony Davis purchased in Westlake Village, California back in 2018 for a reported 7.48 million. This 15,734 square foot behemoth is a two-story property that sits on a 2.33 acre lot and is situated in the exclusive gated community known as North Ranch Country Club Estates. The home is equipped with indoor and outdoor security systems to keep the browse safe and sound while also sporting some smart home technology and solar panels as well. The outdoor features a deck with covered dining area for entertaining, low maintenance turf, and even a built-in trampoline. And one of the highlights for this property is most definitely its incredible $1 million infinity pool with its waterfalls and multiple water slides. Moving inside, this five bedroom, six and a half bath property was first built in 1996 and recently remodeled to cater to a more modern sensibility. Taking one look at this place, I'd say they accomplished that. The home was designed with an eye for contemporary Mediterranean style and features a grand two story entrance with a nearby formal dining room adjacent to a chef's kitchen with double islands. In a nearby nook is also a beautiful little spot for breakfast or to enjoy your morning coffee. The living room is basically elegance personal. Cream colored furniture complements a stone fireplace, marble floors, and multiple ceiling to floor windows. Further inside is a fully stocked library and state of the art home theater system that looks every bit as nice as an actual movie theater. I mean, the thing even has a marquee to hang up posters for coming attractions. The fun doesn't stop there with this place. It's also got its very own games room with a huge flat screen TV, billiards table, and bar. Upstairs is the master bedroom with accompanying ensuite bathroom. The total square footage between these two rooms appears appears to be more than that of most apartments. I mean, I know Anthony Davis is a really, really tall guy, but the amount of space he has up here is just insane. This being the home of one of the best ball players in the NBA means that, of course, it comes with its own basketball court. And it's the type that spares no expense by the looks of it. The home also has its very own full service gym located on the grounds to get those reps in after working on your jumper all day. Now, as nice as this place is, Davis has shocked a few people in and around LA by recently listing this home and putting it back on the market. A few months ago, he listed it for almost $8 million. As I mentioned earlier, Davis is entering free agency when this season finally ends, which makes this a curious decision and has got Lakers fans sweating at least a little bit. But the truth is, Davis has more than one home he likes to crash at around LA, so I wouldn't worry too much, Laker fans. Just try and enjoy your upcoming 17th championship. Next, I'm going to give you a taste of the other home Davis likes to crash at while in town, a 12,000 square foot mansion in Bel Air. After getting traded from the New Orleans Pelicans, this was the home that Anthony Davis subsequently moved into. Davis is renting this $14 million, six bedroom, six bath home for around 50K a month. The main selling point of this home is most likely that it's only about a 35 minute drive from here to the Staples Center, where before the lockdown, Davis would be putting in the majority of his work. The pad has everything you could want as a basketball player, including a gourmet kitchen with bar seating and a living room that has more than enough space to chill out with your favorite video game of choice. What's up, y'all? Who says I don't have rings? Not too far away from there is a dedicated space for dining in its very own room, surrounded on all sides by windows to help create the perfect mood regardless of the occasion. There's also a gorgeous study with a fireplace of its own where Davis can conduct his business and quite possibly sign his next contract. The foyer of this home features a double staircase that winds upwards to the second floor that houses the multiple bedrooms this place has to offer, including the master bedroom, which features a marble fireplace of its very own. Towards Towards the back of the home is a personalized gym that features sliding doors for access to the backyard, so Davis can switch back and forth between lifting weights and shooting hoops at a moment's notice. Oh, and don't forget about the pool with the accompanying spa. And just in case Davis is ever feeling lonely and looking for company in that pool, all he's got to do is pick up the phone and give his teammate LeBron a call. The King's only about 15 minutes down the street, living in his Brentwood estate. While the odds are good that Davis will eventually re-sign with the Lakers once the season finally comes to an end, I do have to admit that his real estate holdings tell something of a different story in that regard. But hey, he's a young guy and he's probably just in the middle of shuffling everything around while he settles into the next decade of his career, most likely spending it in Los Angeles. I mean, just wait till he signs that new sure to be astronomical contract with the Lakers. I can't even imagine the house he'll buy then. But rest assured, we'll be there to take a look when it happens. 
Russell Westbrook, who is best known as a professional star basketball player for the Washington Wizards of the NBA, has been able to snag some pretty luxurious real estate. His homes include a pair of former digs in Edmond, Oklahoma, during this time with the Oklahoma City Thunder, and a lavish home in stunning Beverly Hills. When Westbrook entered the league, he purchased the Edmond home, and 11 years later, the eight-time All-Star listed the modest starter home for only $429,000. Prior to joining the Houston Rockets, Westbrook also listed his larger Oklahoma mansion for $1.7 million. Russell has recently sold his Beverly Hills mansion which he originally put on the market for $6 million and having to lower the price to $5.3 million six months later. We'll take a look at the former homes of Russell Westbrook, including his most recent sale of 4,000 square foot mansion that boasted five bedrooms and six bathrooms. I should probably mention that this home came complete with a pool, spa, and lounging area with easy access to a wet bar. Nine-time NBA All-Star has had quite the lucrative career as he garnered a net worth of $170 million. This salary is well deserved as in 2017, Russell was named the NBA Most Valuable Player and he has been the NBA all-Star eight times and NBA All-Star Game MVP twice. He was chosen for the NBA All-Rookie First Team in 2009 and the All-NBA First Team in 2016 and 17 and he was the NBA Assist Leader in 2018 and 19 and the NBA Scoring Champion in 15 and 17. Not too shabby. <laughs> Along with his $41 million salary and endorsements, Westbrook is one of the highest paid celebrities in the world. Back in 2016, after teammate Kevin Durant left the team, the Thunder wanted to ensure that they wouldn't lose Russell as well. So they offered him a three-year $85 million contract extension in 2016. While that seems like a lot of cake, that was the chicken scratch compared to his new deal. The new year 2017 was definitely the year of Russell Westbrook. In September 2017, Westbrook signed both the largest contract in Jordan Brand history, making a 10-year deal worth a reported $150 to $200 million, and also an NBA history 5-year $205 million extension. Westbrook earned $53 million between June 2018 and June 2019 from salary and endorsements. So with that, Russell is halfway to becoming a billionaire. That's crazy. In 2015, Russell purchased reality star Scott Disick's home in the Beverly's Crest area of Los Angeles for $4.6 million. He put it on the market for $6 million in June 2019 and lowered the asking price to $5.3 million six months later. Westbrook paid $19.7 million for a mansion in Brentwood. However, there is not a lot of information about this home. He also owned homes in Oklahoma, a three-bedroom house that he sold for $426,000 in March 2020, and an 8,300-square-foot mansion that he listed for $1.7 million in November 2019. What was interesting about Westbrook was that while he was making bank from salary and endorsements, his starter home was actually quite modest. The 3,000 square foot home boasted three bedrooms and three bathrooms and purchased in 2008 for $383,000 just months after joining the Oklahoma City Thunder and was eventually sold in 2020 for $429,000. Boasting an updated interior, the traditional style home features an open layout and comes complete with a trendy neutral color scheme throughout after undergoing a series of renovations. Both the kitchen and bathrooms have been remodeled to include quartz countertops and are decked out with marble countertops. The living room is lined with the large windows that give the room life and the kitchen comes with its very own breakfast nook. Adjoining the kitchen is a family room which both opens out to the backyard. Additionally, the kitchen opens to the large family room with views of the Lux pool. However modest, the backyard was built for entertaining as the quarter acre of land features a pool with waterfall and outdoor grill and fire pit. And of course, a couple of basketball hoops in case Russell wanted to work on his jump shot, which he probably should. As Russell's salaries and endorsements increased, so did his real estate portfolios. He snagged a larger Oklahoma mansion in 2012 for $1.9 million. Russell recently listed the house for $1.7 million as the home features 8,300 square feet and boasts five bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. Located in a suburban area outside of Oklahoma City, the 1.4 acre spread includes a luxe pool and its very own putting green. Not a big deal. Upon entry, guests lucky enough to visit are greeted with a grand double spired staircase and an elegant chandelier hung over the entrance to living spaces. The family room features a cozy fireplace and abundance oversized window, which gives the room an airy and roomy ambiance and access to the outdoor terrace. Built in 2007 and recently renovated, the home features an open kitchen with two stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, islands perfectly placed, a sub-zero fridge and freezer, and a walk-in pantry. Just great for those post-game meals. Russell has two offices with beautiful hardware with flooring, elegant wooden cabinets, and more oversized windows. We're willing to bet that Russell has signed an endorsement deal or two right in that room. Adjoining the kitchen is a living and dining space with yet another fireplace. On the main level, you'll also find two master bedrooms and a guest bedroom. Upstairs, guests lucky enough to visit will enjoy a large bonus room. It comes complete with a kitchen and bar for those that fancy a Chardonnay. For those that want to work hard and play hard, can do so in the second study room located upstairs or lift a few weights in Russell's exercise room. Other luxe amenities include a home theater decked out with cozy leather seating and yes, they do come with drink holders. <laughs> in addition, Russell has a putting range for those that want to work on their short game, which is steps away from the pool and spa that comes complete with a wet bar. Like, save some for the rest of us, fam. Like, wow.
Probably the most glamorous of Westbrook's real estate portfolio was his 2015 purchase in Beverly Hills, California. The home was snagged from reality star Scott Disick and has since been put on the market for $6 million. Eventually, Westbrook had decided to lower the asking price for $5.3 million just six months later. The sleek, modern, custom-gated home features 4,000 square feet and boasts five bedrooms and six bathrooms. Located at the top of Summit Ridge Drive adjacent to Beverly Park, the home was designed around the art of entertaining as it is set on a private street. This newer built home features a flawless open floor plan with floor-to-ceiling walls of glass to showcase canyon and city views and give the room an airy ruby ambiance. Essentially, every room is decked out with luxe fireplace and a combination of elegant paintings and unique antiques. Those lucky enough to visit can be entertained in style from the open kitchen that is anchored by an oversized island with a cascading stone countertop. In addition, the kitchen features a built-in cappuccino maker and side-by-side -side oversized stainless steel fridge and freezer. Perfect for relaxation, the formal dining area and large living room are all framed into capturing the stunning, tranquil views of the city and canyons. The lavish abode includes a spacious private master suite with a private balcony boasting even more breathtaking views. Steps away, the suite features a spa-like bathroom lined with Carrera marble and a walk-in closet big enough to be another room. The resort-like backyard features manicured grounds, carefully trimmed grass, and a sparkling pool with a lounge area decked out with luxe furnishings. Steps away, guests can find a spa that comes complete with its very own wet bar, just perfect for soaking in the California sun. Dwight Howard is an American basketball player with a Hall of Fame type career and an astounding net worth of $140 million. Although that's afforded him a gorgeous main mansion in Atlanta, the man has homes across the board, including one in LA and even Washington. So stay tuned, because we'll be looking at his luxury living quarters in just a few. Dwight is probably best known for the time he spent playing for the Orlando Magic and leading them to the NBA Finals way back when in 2009. Kirkland, five of six from the field in that first half. Nice pass to Howard, gets it inside. Lakers a step late on that play. Now over 10 years later, Dwight is finally back in the NBA Finals for the first time since then as a member of the Los Angeles Lakers. When Dwight was still just a teenager, he was recognized as the best high school basketball player in the country, which emboldened him enough to skip the college route and jump directly into the NBA, getting drafted by the Magic in 2004. By the 2008 to 2009 season, Dwight was one of the most decorated players in the entire league, leading his team to the finals. Since since then though, well, things haven't gone quite as smoothly. Dwight grew tired of playing in Orlando and forced the trade to the Los Angeles Lakers to play with Steve Nash and Kobe Bryant. Sadly, that didn't work out either and Dwight began hopping around ever since. A few years with Houston almost worked out until it didn't. Then there was time spent with the Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte Hornets, and finally the Washington Wizards before finally returning to the Los Angeles Lakers this past season to team up with LeBron as the primary big off the bench. What was the biggest factor in leading you back to this franchise? I just think it was divine timing. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. The reserve role is a bit of a new one for Dwight, but he's made the most of it, working harder than likely ever has in his career and curbing his well-documented good humor on the court. While Dwight might have focused on the D to put his best foot forward this season, one look at his current real estate, in particular an amazing home he keeps in Atlanta, Georgia, show that he still knows how to have fun, and lots of it. Dwight's been around a long time now, he's reached the type of success that secured him the bank to own more than one home, which means that besides the crazy awesome state he owns in Atlanta, Atlanta, Dwight also keeps a home in the Tarzana neighborhood of Los Angeles. And he also recently placed the Washington penthouse he lived in as a member of the Wizards on the market as well. Howard recently invited reporter Graham Bessinger into his Atlanta home to give him a tour of the 35,000 square foot premises. Yeah, you heard that right, 35,000 square feet. I didn't grow up with a lot, but I, I literally don't take anything for granted and I enjoy every single moment, no matter what it is. Dwight picked up this home a few years ago for $8.8 million when playing for the Atlanta Hawks, and the place is so nice that I just can't imagine him ever wanting to give it up. I mean, where do we even start? How about the gigantic 14-car garage, which just so happens to house Dwight's purple Thanos-inspired Rolls Royce? Purple car because of Thanos ah. from the Avengers. Yeah, he's my favorite character. He was able to understand that in order for him to complete his mission, he had to get rid of his emotions. He got the purple interior too. Yeah. If you listen closely to what Dwight is saying in that clip, I think he's pulling from personal experience because that's definitely what he's done this past season, transforming his game and exercising many of his emotions to get the absolute best out of himself. But getting back to the house, if you think having a garage big enough for that many cars is overkill, just wait until you hear how many kitchens this place has got. Five. The place has five kitchens. What does someone even do with five kitchens? 
Dwight's also got three laundry rooms, but hey, the guy's an athlete, which means he probably creates a lot of dirty laundry. I mean, I guess he must eat a whole lot too, but still, five kitchens? I just can't get over that. And I'm not the only one. As a man with a whole bunch of personality, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that Dwight has filled his home with memorabilia of all his favorite things. We're talking framed photos of superheroes and even a pair of the original Nikes from Back to the Future. He's also got a whole sports treasury where he keeps autographed shirts and other collectibles from his favorite athletes. And no baller's home would be complete without their own court, or in Dwight's case, half court, located just outside for easy access to get those reps in. Before we move on to check out his LA home, there's one last feature of his Atlanta estate to show you guys. What are you gonna do with a 25 foot, 200 pound anaconda? The same thing they do, nothing. <laughs> Yep, that's Dwight with his huge collection of exotic snakes. You had me with the Thanos car and all the movie memorabilia, but you've lost me here, Dwight. Remind me again, how many times have you been bitten? I've only been bitten three times. Is there like a scar? Yeah. Wait, let's see. That's no joke. That's a real bite. It didn't even hurt. That's three times too many as far as I'm concerned. All right, now let's take a look at his home in the LA neighborhood of Tarzana. Dwight picked up this little gem without a whole lot of fanfare back in 2017, and records show he paid $1.75 million for it. Tucked behind a white picket fence, this updated 1950s traditional style home has picturesque windows that look out onto dazzling garden views. The interior of the home features a modern kitchen with state-of-the-art appliances and a marble center island. Down a hall just off the side of the kitchen is Dwight's very own home theater with red velvet curtains, reclining chairs, and everything. With the close proximity to the kitchen, fetching a mid-movie snack is about as easy as it gets. Only a stone's throw away from there is a living room and family room located on the main floor of this 4,200 square foot home, featuring cream-colored walls and elegant furniture. French doors open from the living room into a covered patio for outdoor entertaining, while hedges and bamboo surround an oval-shaped swimming pool with an accompanying grotto-style spa. Meanwhile, upstairs are six bedrooms, some of which are very kid-friendly, along with accompanying ensuite bathrooms. Sounds like a pretty nice place, right? And while I can't vouch for this with 100% certainty, my best guess is that this is where Dwight lives whenever he's in town as a member of the Lakers. Alright, let's take a look at Dwight's last home, a spectacular penthouse in Washington, D.C. After making the move to the Lakers, Dwight decided to let go of this sprawling D.C. penthouse, placing it on the market for close to $2.5 million. This 10,123 square foot apartment is more than double the size of Dwight's house in Los Angeles and occupies the top two floors of the historic Pierce School building, a former schoolhouse that was built in 1893 and then converted into nine residential units in 2012. Many of the school's original features including chalkboards, lockers and cubby spaces were retained and incorporated into the penthouse's design in an extremely fun and inventive way by German designer Adolf Klutz. The interior features exposed brick, clean white walls, and dark polished hardwood floors, while the centerpiece is most definitely the two-story lofted great room, which features an exposed brick fireplace, an original stained glass window from the school that has been transformed into an art piece, and a wet bar alongside a set of industrial looking stairs with glass railings that lead on up to the second floor. Up there you can find a total of four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, while the master suite is actually located back down on the main floor and features a massive massive closet hidden behind a huge wall behind the bed. The ensuite bathroom features two separate vanities and a marble steam shower with a custom fish tank. An understated living room and dining room combo that feature high ceilings and blackboards along the walls is another highlight of this astounding home. Speaking of highlights, the kitchen boasts a whole ton of natural light along with industrial grade stainless steel appliances accompanied by a 20 foot long marble topped center island and counter seating. Finally, one last room worth taking a look at is the massage room on the upper floor that Dwight had installed himself. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that looks to me about the most relaxing room in the entire world. Chris Paul has had quite the lucrative career, killing it in the NBA, garnering a net worth of $130 million and an annual salary of $38.5 million per season. Best known as a superstar professional basketball player for the Phoenix Suns and the NBA, playing in five different cities throughout his career, Chris Paul has owned some luxurious digs, including a pair of California homes, one of which features a 12,000 plus square foot contemporary Mediterranean retreat and a 20,000 plus square foot estate that boasts a whopping 23 bedroom 
bedrooms and 24 bathrooms. His pair of Texas homes were equally impressive, including a former home that boasted almost 19,000 square feet on a 72,000 foot estate. Man, this guy really likes his spacious digs. Finally, his old Mediterranean estate in Houston features a courtyard laced with olive trees and ponds. As you probably already know, Paul has a knack for snagging some luxurious real estate and his first Cali home is a stunner. Paul's contemporary Mediterranean retreat on the sprawling grounds in the exclusive guard-gated Bel Air Crest features 12,184 square feet and boasts eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. Fun little fact, the dig was also formerly owned by Avril Lavigne. And considering he's nice at ball, he obviously wasn't a skater boy. The home offers the utmost privacy and a number of luxe features, including a newly exquisitely renovated interior. Guests lucky enough to visit are greeted to a dramatic two-story foyer with chandelier and gracefully transitions into both formal living and dining rooms. The lavish abode features open chef's kitchen, breakfast area, and a family room to provide a sophisticated ambience for guests. Paul's private master retreat includes private sitting room with kitchenette, fireplace, private balcony, and a huge his and hers closet. I'm telling you, there is enough room in here to make an additional room in the house. In addition, the master suite features both his and her spa baths. Probably one of the sickest features to brag about is the 10 car garage, provides ample room for parking and his vintage cars. Trust me, the Lux features will be an ongoing theme throughout this house tour. The home features glamorous outdoor features, including a covered outdoor living entertainment area, kitchen, barbecue station, pool, and bar, creating a perfect setting for entertaining. Sophisticated features include a commercial elevator for those of you too lazy to take the stairs, Creston sound automation, camera system, and subterranean wine cellar with storage for up to 500 bottles. You know, for those who get a little thirsty in the home. Another dope feature is Paul's 12 seat home theater, perfect for bringing live television or sporting events with practically his whole team. In addition, Paul has had some other goodies, including a games room with billiards table and yet another bar. Paul clearly liked to work hard and play hard, as his home features his own personal gym with a sauna and many other enhancements, including a private locker room. Okay, home number two for Chris Paul's house tour was probably the sickest of all the homes. Located in the estates at the Oaks, this beautiful Calabasas custom Mediterranean mansion features a whopping 20,464 square feet and boasts 23 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms. Wow, I mean, just, just wow. This home offers a number of dope amenities, including sweeping pastoral views, a large private lot with tennis court, and an additional guest house. In addition, the estate comes complete with a pool and spa with fountains and waterfalls. Not to mention the backyard features a deluxe barbecue center, covered patios, fruit trees, rose garden, rolling lawns, and a six car garage behind the gates. I mean, can I get an invite to the pool party or what? Geez, save some for the rest of us, Chris. The immaculate main residence features high quality finishes throughout and is breathtaking views from virtually every room. More lavish amenities include an elegant downstairs master suite, spacious chef's kitchen with a pizza oven that opens to the family room. Of course, Paul's dig features another home theater, study office, where we are willing to bet he signed an endorsement deal or two, a mirrored home gym with bath, craft room for those of us who dabble in the arts and crafts, and a formal dining room with a refrigerated wine closet and a private dining patio. The living room is decked out with lavish furnishings, custom fixtures, floor to ceiling glass windows, and a volume ceiling. The finishes throughout include hardwood and stone floors, stainless steel appliances, stone counters, French doors, and a driveway with interlocking pavers. While the main residence has a whopping five in-suite bathrooms alone, the guest house with the bath is the sixth. My goodness, Paul has his very own hotel in his estate. When you add that with the wonderful grounds and beautiful views, it really makes you wonder, how could Chris Paul ever leave this place? All right, so part three of the Chris Paul house tour features a magnificent estate situated on a 72,000 square foot home site in the manned and gated community of Carlton Woods. The home features 18,717 square feet and boasts nine bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. This breathtaking residence boasts extraordinary living spaces, both indoors and out, virtually everywhere in the home. Upon entry, guests are greeted to a grand foyer with a sophisticated custom railing, layers of crown molding, and a soaring ceilings that leads into the formal living room and formal dining room with a wine cellar, of course. I really appreciate how Paul makes sure to snag a dig with a wine cellar. The home comes complete with captivating archways, wide plank hardwood floors, groin vault ceilings, and paneled walls to reflect the exceptional craftsmanship required to create a resort-like home. The expansive space provides a luxurious setting with lavish furnishings and floor-to-ceiling glass windows that boast breathtaking views of the backyard. Now, it wouldn't be a Chris Paul home if it didn't feature a backyard with an oasis incredible swimming pool, elevated spa,
spa and fire pit that comes complete with a profusion of cozy outdoor furnishings. The home is located on the 15th fairway of the Nicholas Golf Course and offers a true escape from busy city life. Wow, just another stunner for Chris. Chris Paul's final home in this house tour features a spectacular home that can be best described as a hybrid of modernism and old world Mediterranean. The home features 10,098 square feet and boasts five bedrooms and nine bathrooms. That comes complete with a courtyard laced with olive trees and a pond. The home is decked out with steel framed criddle windows that allow a wealth of natural light to overtake the residence. Of course, the home features breathtaking views of the backyard, which come complete with limestone edge pools, a fire pit, pool house, and almost an acre of ground. The home is packed with Texas limestone, 200 year old farmhouse oak beams, and French imported clay roof tiles add layers of character to the custom designed home. Now onto the goodies. The home features a double sided marble fireplace that unites the living room and dining room that is a accompanied by a 750 bottle temperature controlled wine case. You just had to get another wine cellar, didn't you, Chris? The home features a family room that interconnects with the view-filled breakfast room and the kitchen that comes complete with stainless steel countertops, top tier appliances, and concealed 48 inch Sub-Zero refrigerator. In addition, the kitchen features a marble top island perfectly centered in the room and a butler's pantry that is big enough to be a locker room. The home features four in-suite bedrooms that all have their very own private terrace. In addition, the home comes complete with a library, study room, games room, and an enormous theater. I mean, of course it does. It's Chris Paul. The superstar hooper DeMarcus Cousins, who is best known as the four-time All-Star for the Los Angeles Clippers in the NBA, has managed to snag himself some pretty luxurious real estate. Back in 2018, Boogie sold his Granite Bay mansion for $5.4 million after less than three weeks on the market. The highly coveted home featured 13,790 square feet on a 2.3 acre lot and boasted six bedrooms with a saltwater pool with a waterfall feature. In September of 2020, Boogie listed his Las Vegas mansion which is more like a luxury resort, the palace came with a whopping 20,000 square feet and boasted 10 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms. And let me tell you, there is no shortage of goodies in this estate, some of which include a home theater, billiards room, elevator, and indoor basketball court. Despite all the glamorous features, the home sold in March of 2021 for only $7.5 million. Back in 2013, during his time with the Sacramento Kings, Boogie Cousins snagged a stunning villa in Granite Bay, California for $4.7 million. Built in 2009, the world-class estate sits on a 2.3 manicured acre property that lies inside a gated community. The residence offers 13,000 square feet and boasts six bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms all on one level. I mean, hey, don't let the height fool you. The lavish estate has no shortage of luxe features. The abode offers marble finishes and five stone fireplaces throughout. Upon entry, guests are greeted to a grand foyer that comes with plush furnishings, a grand piano, a pair of elegant chandeliers topped with a painted dome. The residence includes a formal living room decked out with arched windows, one of five fireplaces, exotic drapes and rugs, with chandeliers soaring above. Perhaps one of the most romantic rooms in this house is the formal dining room that includes a hand-carved wooden cabinetry, a grand mahogany table touched nicely with sophisticated paintings, while the family room is fully furnished to Boogie's liking and includes a wet bar, ideal for entertaining. Now, when you're playing the kind of minutes that Boogie is, you're gonna need a kitchen that you can cook up a storm in. The open kitchen adjacent to the family room includes stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and a stunning island with ample storage space. Boogie's master suite is a perfect spot to rest up after a game offering a sitting area, fireplace, private patio access, and his very own dry sauna. Additionally, the master suite comes complete with spacious walk-in closet with tons of storage space via custom shelves and display cases. Like I'm not even joking here, this is big enough to hold an entire Clippers practice. While the ensuite bathroom comes with his or her sinks, a granite soaking tub, and an enormous glass shower perfect that just screams glamour. Speaking of glamour, how about the wood paneled office complete with hand carved wooden shelves. We're willing to bet that Boogie negotiated an endorsement deal or two in there. Also included in the residence is a home gym that puts regular gyms to shame, decked out with all the machines and his or hers change rooms. The media room, which is worthy of bragging about, features lavish furnishings, an additional wet bar, and a massive screen perfect for binge watching live televised sporting events. Steps from the media room, you will find a games room complete with billiards table and easy access to the stunning backyard. Now, if the two wet bars weren't enough, the estate also features 
just a wine cellar with sitting area. As you may have noticed, Boogie is quite the connoisseur. To get the true feel of just how glamorous this home is, you've got to see the stunning backyard for yourself. Well, for starters, the backyard comes with a saltwater pool with waterfall features. The backyard is blessed with multiple lounging spaces, including a dining area with a fireplace. Equally impressive is the outdoor kitchen with built-in barbecue and pizza oven and two more fire pits for good measure. Guests looking for a little exercise can do so with a lighted regulation size tennis court. Not to mention the backyard is beautifully touched with vine yards, two courtyards with fountains and well manicured grounds. And just when you thought Boogie's real estate game couldn't get any better, he doubles down on a place in Sin City in October of 2017. Boogie forked out 6.5 million for an incredible two acre estate in Las Vegas. The estate, which would be more appropriately described as a luxury resort, offers over 20,000 square feet and comes complete with 10 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms. And this estate is just packed with all the deluxe amenities and more than you could possibly want in a home. The custom Mediterranean residence is located a few miles from the Las Vegas Strip and secretly gated with a grand entrance, circular drive, and motor court located in the front exterior. Right from the get-go, guests can take in the panoramic views of the surrounding mountains. Upon entry, guests are greeted to a grand foyer that comes with 30-foot ceilings, spiral staircases, or an elevator for those of you too lazy to take the stairs, and a gigantic fireplace. The villa includes a number of living and dining room spaces, including a two-story living space lathered with sleek furnishings, a stone fireplace, and an elegant chandelier hovering above. Now, one room that is worthy of boasting about is the family room that includes a large flat screen television, electric fireplace, and an aquarium steps away from the balcony with spectacular views. While the gourmet kitchen includes all Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances, marble quartz countertops, and a massive granite island perfectly centered in the room. Additional kitchen features include a butler's pantry with more room than you know what to do with, and a breakfast nook with a view. While the master suite offers a sitting area, additional electric fireplace, private balcony access, and a massive walk-in closet, perfect for Boogie to store his kicks. So we know the essentials are pretty impressive. Now how about the goodies? Well, for starters, the place includes a full-size basketball with scoreboard and state-of-the-art gym, complete with dual change rooms, big enough to host an entire NBA practice. Not a bad way at all to practice your jumper, perhaps just as impressive is Boogie's home theater, decked out in leather furnishings with drink holders and a performer stage. You know, just a casual open mic night at the cousin's residence. Other lux amenities offered include a games room complete with a billiards table and wet bar. And of course, it wouldn't be a high profile athlete's home without a perfectly furnished sports media room to catch up on all your NBA highlights. By now, we can tell that Boogie has a knack for snatching up pretty fine real estate. But if there's any one area of luxury, it has to be the backyards built for entertaining. The backyard includes multiple entertainment opportunities, including an outdoor kitchen with a built-in barbecue and pizza oven, wet bar, fire pit, and an abundance of lounging areas. In addition, the grounds come with a guest house with kitchen, bathroom, and outdoor patio that bleeds into the pool area. Unreal. Probably the craziest part about this house is that the palace was sold in March 2021. With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. First drafted back in 2009 by the Golden State Warriors, Stephen Curry battled through injuries in the early part of his career to become a two-time league MVP, three-time NBA champ, six-time All-Star, and is widely considered to be the greatest shooter in the NBA ever. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With a decade plus in the league and accolades like that attached to his name, he's also earned himself some impressive contracts that have built his bank account up to a staggering heights and afforded him the ability to own multiple homes throughout his career. Over the past two years, Steph has been shuffling his real estate holdings as the Golden State Warriors move cities and he sold off two previous homes for two brand spanking new ones. Stephen Curry is an American professional basketball player who's been credited with revolutionizing the game by placing more emphasis on the three-point line. Curry from half court. Bank it in. Reshaping the game the way he has led him to banking some absolutely monster contracts, including signing the NBA's first $200 million contract back in 2017. He's had the league's top salary for the past two seasons, making an average of $40 million per year. Outside of basketball, Curry also makes a lot of money from other ventures and endorsements, like those with Under Armour, Chase, and even SportsCenter. Day in, day out. 
When you factor in his endorsement money, Steph is doubling his annual salary and looking at close to $80 million per year. Meanwhile, Steph isn't even the only multimillionaire in his family. His wife Aisha Curry is a celebrity chef, television host, and author with a net worth of 16 mil. With a joint bank account like that, you'd assume that the Currys only live in the nicest of homes, and you would, of course, be right. After selling off two homes, one in Alamo, California, and the other in North Carolina, the Currys purchased two new homes, one of which was the most expensive house sold in the Bay Area through all of 2019, while the other is a brand new luxury condo only minutes away from where Steph plays at the Chase Center. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're taking a look at the multi homes of Steph Curry here for you on Famous Entertainment. With the NBA season about to restart, I thought it would be fun to take a look at the different homes Steph will be spending a lot more time in since the Golden State Warriors weren't invited to participate in Orlando. You just know that even though he won't be playing, he'll for sure be watching from home. Steph lived in this first home for close to three years, having recently sold it for $6.3 million in January of 2019 after purchasing the Contra Costa country estate for only $5.775 million back in 2016. Found in a guard-gated community, this 1.5-acre property includes a traditional-style main home, a detached guest house, and a six-car garage. Outside, the landscaped estate holds various fountains, lawns, an infinity-edge swimming pool, and an outdoor pavilion. It even has a 1,700-gallon well in the property that provides irrigation for the gardens and plant life. The main house was built in 2006, and it's 10,290 square feet of living space with five bedrooms, 8.5 bathrooms, and five fireplaces. Inside, you can also find all the features one might come to expect from a superstar athlete's abode, including a billiard room, a climate-controlled wine cellar, and a finished style spa for complete rest and relaxation. Of course, with Aisha being the fantastic cook that she is, the kitchen has been completely remodeled to include top-of-the-line appliances that would make her life easier as a celebrity chef and cookbook author. We just moved into this house not too long ago. When we first moved in, this kitchen was dark and drab and not happening at all. We loved the layout, we loved the openness of the space, and so I just wanted it to be light and bright and airy. We needed two refrigerators, one because I cook so much. I do meal prep for Stefan for when he has games, um, especially during the playoffs and things like that. And then, of course, you have the kids' food and all the stuff that I'm testing for the vlog. Here it is in all its glory. Believe it or not, this Alamo home wasn't the only million dollar residence that Steph sold in January of last year. He also sold his property located in North Carolina for $1.19 million. Steph attended Davidson College for three years, which is located in the Tar Heel State, the same state where his father, Del Curry, played for the Charlotte Hornets. While living there, he purchased a 7,650 square foot home that has four bedrooms and 5.5 bathrooms spread out over three stories. This European style home opens to a grand foyer with a sky high ceiling and immediate staircase access to all four floors. The main level includes a gigantic great room featuring a dedicated living room area with a massive stone fireplace and towering French doors. A strategically placed second floor balcony overlooks that great room and keeps the spaces open and accessible. Adjacent to this space is formal dining room with a fireplace of its own, and further down the line is a gourmet kitchen with wolf and sub zero appliances, as well as a cozy casual dining room. Nook. The second floor is entirely occupied with the master suite of the house, which includes a spacious master bedroom, a separate light-filled oak-lined office, a wet bar, and a bathroom with a luxuriously large shower and separate jacuzzi-style deep soaking tub that Steph must have no doubt taken advantage of after all those long team practices. This suite also includes a custom-fitted walk-in closet with heaps of shelf and drawer space because, let's face it, no celebrity house is complete with one of those. On the third floor is where you'll find the other three bedrooms, all with their own ensuite bathrooms. It also has a library and a media room boasting leather armchairs and a mini bar, but most of the entertaining likely takes place in the bottom floor. That's where you'll find a large bar, billiards area, media center, space for dining, a wine cellar, and even a separate room perfect for a home gym or yoga studio. It's hard to believe that Steph gave up a place this nice, but wait till you hear about what he upgraded to. In June of last year, Steph and his family purchased this $31 million mansion in Atherton, California. It would end up being the most amount paid for a house in the Bay Area in all of 2019. 
After laying down money like that, you might not be surprised to learn that one of the main selling features about this house is its privacy and the details of what it's like inside remain somewhat of a mystery. The Currys purchased this home off market and through a separate entity. But what we do know about the place is that it's a modern, three level gated house and almost completely hidden from the street it's situated on. It sits on 1.2 acres of land and outside it features a guest house and three car garage. If that amount of garage space isn't enough for you, then the driveway is reportedly big enough to fit half half a dozen other vehicles, just in case. While Steph's kids no doubt can enjoy the swimming pool with a cabana, mom and dad can entertain their guests around their patio, which comes complete with a fireplace and a built-in barbecue. I cook with my family all of the time. It's my biggest message that I have to send through my career in food is get in the kitchen, cook with your families, no matter what your family looks like, who they are, your friends, whoever. It's the perfect setting to build a great family foundation and relationship, and it opens the door for communication, so I love it. Inside the kitchen boasts plenty of light with floor to ceiling windows that look out into a large garden. When they were buying this home, Aisha was looking for the perfect kitchen to prepare meals in with and bond with her family. The home was built from scratch in 2019 by prominent Atherton developer Joko Martin and his Woodlane Properties in collaboration with Acarium Architecture and Landscape Architects Studio Green. With this move, Steph can now call the wealthiest zip code in the country home. Just down the street from him is Warriors owner Joe Lacob, as well as WhatsApp billionaire Jan Coombe. And while we might not have a great idea what it's like on the inside, as the Currys continue to post wholesome content like this to their Instagram. Are you gonna run? Go! Go! Push ups! Let me see it. One! Oh, that was only one? You do, do the sit ups. Do the sit ups. Alright, one. More and more details will emerge. Finally, let's take a look at the newest property Steph has snatched up, a brand new luxury condo located in the heart of downtown San Francisco. Steph is looking to move into this 2,800 square foot condo on the 30th floor of the 45 story Four Seasons private residences this very month. The building is getting ready for its grand opening and features 146 units, a gym, game room, private dining room with bar service, terrace with fire pits, and a library. Curry paid slightly less than $8 million for his 2,800 square foot living space and while his family will continue to primarily live at their new home in Atherton, the location of this condo provides Steph darn near immediate access to where he plays the Chase Center, which is only a couple miles down the road. It's also just blocks from the International Smoke, a restaurant co-owned by Aisha Curry, in case his two lovebirds are ever looking to get away from the kids for a night before heading to work in the morning. Each residence comes with bedrooms featuring 10 foot ceilings and views of the bay, as well as large bathrooms with clean white finishes and modern kitchens with ample wine storage. The building also features some further luxurious amenities like being managed by four season staff 24 7 and a fifth level that's dedicated club for the residents. It even has a gym designed by celebrity personal trainer Harley Pasterna, as well as an art curator and wine consultant on staff for all of your entertaining emergencies. This place really seems to have thought about everything. Clay Thompson, who is best known as the superstar professional basketball player for the Golden State Warriors in the NBA, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate, including a home in Dana Point, California. Thompson now has digs in San Francisco, conveniently located near the new Chase Center in Mission Bay. However, he claimed in an NBC Sports interview that he would never tell anybody where. Thompson still kept his home in East Bay, the Spanish-style single-story home that features a central courtyard with a pool and spa, two guest houses, and and a patio with ocean views. Clay Thompson has had quite the lucrative career, killing it in professional ball, garnering a net worth of over $60 million, and currently earns $38 million per season. While raking in 38 mil a season, Thompson earns an additional $15 million from endorsements alone. The salary and endorsements are well earned as Thompson is credited as one of the greatest shooters in NBA history. Clay Thompson is already a three-time NBA champion, and I guess he could have been a four-time NBA champion, but we do all know what happened there. A five-time NBA All-Star, and a two-time All-NBA third-team honoree. <laughs> 
In addition, Thompson has also been named to the NBA All-Defensive Second Team. Clay's had a few big tickets throughout his career in the NBA. In 2015, Clay signed a four-year, $69 million contract with the Warriors. The contract paid an average of $17 million per season. In 2019, Clay signed a five-year, $190 million deal with the Warriors, which is big enough to be the third largest contract in NBA history. Some of Thompson's biggest endorsement deals have been with the likes of Panini, Body Armor, and to sports products, Electronic Arts, and Gillette. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Clay Thompson earned $31 million between salary and endorsements. Roughly $13 million of that income was from endorsements. Between June 2019 and June 2020, he earned $40 million. In June 2017, Clay signed a 10-year deal with Chinese shoe brand Anta. The deal pays him a base salary of $80 million in total, $8 million per year. He can also earn significant bonuses and royalties depending on certain sales milestones. So when you're raking in the type of bread that Clay Thompson is, you're going to snag yourself some pretty luxurious real estate. We will take a deep dive into Clay Thompson's Dana Point pad, the Spanish style ranch that complements the Capo Beach and features a luxurious pool while on a 150 foot bluff overlooking the Pacific. Clay Thompson loves his gyro and you might even see him around San Francisco at your favorite gyro spot. However, once the Golden State Warriors moved to San Fran, Thompson snagged the dig in the city which is conveniently located near the new Chase Center in Mission Bay. Thompson claims that he kept his home in East Bay as it was his first home he purchased and holds a special place in his heart. And basically the only clue he gave to the press is that it's close to the park for his dog Rocco. Good luck trying to find him fans. Back in 2015, Clay Thompson forked out $2.2 million for a luxurious Spanish style ranch set on more than a quarter of an acre in the Capo Beach area. The lavish single story home is elegantly elevated on a 150 foot bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean. In addition, the luxurious estate comes complete with central courtyard and pool and spa, two guest houses and a 100 foot wide patio with unobstructed ocean views. The three bedroom also features a number of goodies including a rec room with a bar and lounge area and pool table. In addition, the home features a pair of two car garages perfect for all of Clay's whips. Guests lucky enough to visit are greeted to a formal entry of over 2400 square feet that feature vaulted ceilings with exposed beams throughout. The family and dining room area come with a fireplace that is decked out with a profusion of lavish furnishings, custom fittings, and fixtures. Elegant chandelier soaring above, large flat screen television, and wall-to-wall -wall glass sliding door that gives access to the 100-foot patio. Whether you're looking to kick back and binge watch live televised sporting events or enjoy a meal with breathtaking views, I mean, this, this room has it all. Clay's kitchen features stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and an island perfectly centered in the room. In addition, the kitchen features an abundance of cabinet spaces, a breakfast nook with access to the 100-foot patio, and a butler's pantry with more room than you know what to do with. The home features three bedrooms, including an ocean view master suite, decked out with lavish furnishings, a sitting area, comfy fireplace, and private access to a balcony with breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean. In addition, the master suite boasts a walk-in closet big enough to pose as an additional room in the house. This walk-in closet has plenty of room for Clay's anti kicks. The master suite leads to a luxurious ensuite bathroom, one of three to be exact, that features dual sinks, his or hers soaking baths, and both stunning Pacific Ocean views, and a large standing shower perfect for relaxation. Probably the coolest spot in this home is Clay Thompson's rec room that can be described as business in the front and party in the back. The room features a profusion of custom shelves, ranging between bookshelves and fittings and fixtures ornamented with unique antiques. The room gives a lounging vibe as it is decked out with lavish furnishings, comfy fireplace, and glass sliding door leading to the outdoor entertainment area. The rec room is nicely tufted with a billiards table and a bar for those who fancy a cocktail. Now what's unique about this spot is that there is an easy in and out flow with a retractable wall so the party can happen both in the interior or exterior. The pool and spa area features a wealth of lounging furnishings and comes complete with a jacuzzi, additional bar, barbecue area, fire pit, and outdoor entertainment system perfect for entertaining. In addition, the outdoor entertaining space features a pool house that comes complete with a steam room. Hey Clay, I know that we beat you in 2019, but am I getting an invite to this pool party? As mentioned earlier, the home features a 100 foot patio that boasts the most stunning Pacific Ocean views. Throughout the 100 feet, there are a number of patio tables and furnishings set up to enjoy a meal with a view or simply relax and forget about all your problems. Equally impressive is that patio features a gated fence that leads directly to a 150 foot bluff and beachside property if the pool doesn't quite cut it for you. In fact, Dana Point hosts some of the most glamorous beaches in Orange County, and it appears that Thompson does usually host team parties at his dig, while on Jimmy Kimmel, teammate Draymond Green
Kane described Thompson's place as a trap house. Graham claimed that Clay has a million people living with him. It's weird. While Thompson has not revealed his San Francisco home, it's gotta be real dope to compete with this oceanfront property. Kevin Durant, who is best known as a star basketball player for the Brooklyn Nets of the NBA, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate throughout California, including a lavish abode in Oakland Hills when he was a member of the Golden State Warriors, and a luxurious dig in Malibu, California. In addition, Durant had previously owned a home in Oklahoma City, where he had started his NBA career. After recently selling the pair of California homes, the one in Malibu sold in 2019 for a whopping $12.1 million, which boasted beachfront views in the home in Oakland Hills that went for a tad under $6 million, which was also right off the beach. It's a bit of a a head scratcher why Durant decided to leave California. We'll take a look at the former homes of Kevin Durant, including that $12 million home that boasted its own private theater and elevator, plus his former home in the Bay Area that boasted a whopping seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and over 9,000 square feet. While tearing it up in the NBA and using a burner account, Kevin Durant has garnered a net worth of $170 million. In addition to being a recognized talent on the court, he is also one of the highest earning basketball players in the world. Off the court, thanks to multiple lucrative endorsement deals. Between June 2009 19 and June 2020, Kevin earned 65 million from his various endeavors alone. After spending three seasons with the Golden State Warriors in 2019, Kevin signed a four-year, $164 million contract with the Brooklyn Nets. Now, after earning a whopping $40 million per year from an NBA salary, Kevin also earns an astonishing $26 million per year from Nike. These two sources alone give him $66 million in annual income. In addition to the massive payday from Nike, Kevin clears an additional $10 million from endorsements with Gatorade, Degree, and many more. So in a given year, $40 million plus $26 million plus an additional million dollars. Do the math. Nets will never have to worry about eating again. In addition, Kevin has also made a number of venture capital investments. He owns small stakes in a number of companies, including Postmates and investment app Acorns, with more than 40 early stage technology investments. And to top it all off, Kevin's media company has production deals with Fox, ESPN, Apple, and Showtime. Now, Durant's personal life is kept mostly private by the sports star, with little information available. He's known to have dated Bay Area property salesperson, Sandra Anderson, and was previously engaged to former WNBA star Monica Wright until 2014. However, in 2018, Durant spent $12 million to buy a beachfront home in Malibu, California. In May 2019, he listed the home for sale for $13.4 million. He also owned several properties in the Oklahoma City area. In 2013, he listed his residence in the upper-class Cub Villa neighborhood for $1.9 million. Kevin Durant's first real estate venture was while playing for his first NBA franchise, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Two years after, he initially tried to sell his Oklahoma City home for $1.9 million, the NBA megastar put the house back on the market nearly a 50% price cut. The home was last listed for $1.9 million. The dig featured 5,700 square feet and boasted five bedrooms and six bathrooms. The beautiful contemporary home in Gallardia's gated club neighborhood and is situated on two lots that features a main house and a large guest house. An elegant pool is situated between both homes which is encompassed by mature trees to ensure ample privacy. The main house features three bedrooms while there are two located in the guest house. Both homes offer loaded kitchens and family areas ensuring pure suburban luxury. Upon entry, the abode features a soaring entryway and a living room with a vaulted ceiling, a fireplace, and several seating areas for entertaining. The kitchen with its checkered floor, a steel countertop, and high-end appliances is a chef's delight. More opulence can be found in the red wheeled master bedroom, which features high ceilings and blonde wood planks. As Kevin Durant's salary and earnings went up, so did his real estate portfolio. The home which he rented during his time with the Golden State Warriors was last listed on the market for $5.9 million. The massive dig features a whopping 9,000 square feet and both seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms. The most dramatic entrance features a circular driveway that comes complete with a manicured grounds and beautiful greenery. Upon entry through the luxe glass front doors, this lavish home features soaring ceilings tall enough for Kevin Durant's six foot 10 frame. An elegant spiraling staircase and enormous floor to ceiling windows, these oversized windows offer breathtaking views of the bay and San Francisco skyline and give the home an airy and roomy ambiance. Guests lucky enough to visit can take the curb staircase leading to the upper or lower levels or relax in one of the many living spaces that boasts elegant paintings and contemporary art. The kitchen features all the custom built-ins, marble countertops, stainless steel appliances, and an island beautifully centered in the room. The bathroom features elegant tiling and marble tops and enormous stand and shower, and a soaking tub that boasts a spectacular skyline view. The bedroom features a combination of oversized windows to give the room life, lavish furnishings, and contemporary paintings to give the room more personality. Probably the most luxurious features include an in-home theater that features cozy leather furnishings perfect for binging some ball. In addition, Durant also had his own private basketball half 
half court in case he felt like shooting some hoops, of course. The backyard is pretty luxe too, as it boasts a perfectly trimmed green lawn, concrete terrace, and a pool that steps away from an outdoor wet bar. Probably the most glamorous of Kevin Durant's purchases was his $12 million Malibu home that boasted 5,100 square feet and came complete with a four bedrooms and six bathrooms. The multi-level home underwent an extensive remodel in 2013 and boasts spectacular ocean and white water views as it's right off Broad Beach. Situated on a private gated street, this home features vaulted ceilings with an open floor plan and walls of glass showcasing the majestic cove. The home is decked out with wide plank French oak flooring throughout and features an expansive great room with a cozy fireplace. Not to mention throughout the home, there are oceanfront views from the oversized windows, giving the house an area and roomy ambiance. One living room in particular features a breathtaking ocean view that comes complete with a dining table with seating for 10, steps away from the Calcutta marble kitchen, complete with four bedrooms and six bathrooms, including the master retreat and private guest suite with a spa and balcony leading to the beach. Not too shabby. Other features include a massage and exercise loft, which is perfect for post-game workouts. And hey, if you pull something lifting weights, you can get from all levels of Durant's home elevator. In addition, Durant's dig includes a library and home office where he probably signed a big endorsement contract or two. Let's dive into the six features. Well, Durant's home does boast its own private theater that could seat his whole team, a wine cellar for those that fancy a Chardonnay, of course, and wet bar for those sick, sick parties. Not to mention the dig features surround sound throughout the home and with all the balconies, one of which that features a hot tub, fireplaces, and flat screen televisions, it's safe to say that this would be a pretty dope spot to party. James Harden, who is best known as a superstar basketball player for the Houston Rockets of the NBA, has been able to snag some pretty luxurious real estate in Houston. In addition, Harden has rented property in Beverly Hills where he's best known to throw a few parties. And these parties are absolutely wild. In fact, in 2019, Harden had rented a $30 million mansion in Beverly Hills that featured 14,500 square feet and boasted eight bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, among other deluxe features. This eventually turned into a lawsuit between Harden and George Pietro Santo after a few parties that totaled $300,000 and damage. In 2015, Harden made a $2 million purchase for Catino Mobley's Houston home, a dig that featured 7,000 square feet and boasted four bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. However, Harden's most recent purchase was a $10 million mansion in Houston that features a whopping 26,000 square feet. The home comes complete with a grotto, full bar, and wine room in addition to a bunch of other luxurious features. The NBA star of the Houston Rockets has made quite the lucrative career from professional basketball, amassing a net worth of $165 million and still earning a salary of $40 million per season. Not too shabby. In August 2015, it was revealed that James Harden had signed a $200 million deal to leave Nike for rival sportswear company Adidas. It's a 13-year deal that will pay James an average of $50 million per year on top of his $14.7 million he is already earning in basketball salary. Between June 2016 and June 2017, James Harden earned $47 million from salary and endorsements alone, and this was before he signed his record-breaking deal. Then on July 8, 2017, Harden had signed a new contract that would be the richest contract in NBA history. The four-year extension with the Rockets paid Harden $228 million, an average of $57 million per year. To put things in perspective, in the fourth year of his contract, Harden will earn more than $530,000 per game. By the end of his contract, his total career earnings when you combine salary and endorsements will be north of $560 million. Getting pretty close to that billion dollar mark. Save some for the rest of us, Harden. Between June 2017 and 2018, Harden earned $47 million in various endeavors. This was followed by another $45 million between June 2018 and 19. So basically, Harden will never have to worry about money ever again. While James' money is well deserved, one thing about Harden is that he likes to work hard and play hard. Harden picked up his first Houston dig in 2015 for two mil, and this home featured its very own theater. Harden then went on to real estate in Beverly Hills, a party house that boasted over 14,000 square feet of property and featured a wine cellar and bar. Most recently, Harden upgraded to a mega mansion in Houston for 10 mil. This place also features a wet bar and winery. Seeing a bit of a theme here. Harden's first Houston home was purchased in 2015 before he had signed his big ticket. The mansion was formerly owned by former NBA star Catino Mobley and the purchase went down for about $2 million. The Mediterranean style residence was built in 2002 and sits at the end of a gated drive inside Royal Oaks Country Club. The property boasts wide views of the Fred Couples design signature golf course and featured its own private movie theater. Upon entry, guests lucky enough to visit will enter through a grand foyer with a sweeping and semi-spiraling staircase spanning three stories. The formal floor plan opens to a living room with raised ceilings and an elegant stone fireplace. The spacious home features seven 2100 square feet of living space and boasts four bedrooms and five bathrooms. In addition, the home includes its very own library and is decked out with custom built-ins including a beautifully centered island kitchen. Among the highlight amenities is a game room where we're willing to bet Harden hosted a few team parties and a theater room that featured
features cozy leather furnishings with drink holders. The master retreat features one of the many cozy fireplaces, a study room, walk-in closets big enough to be a room, in a house, and a large soaking tub. While the interior is pretty glamorous, Hardin's outdoors are pretty dope. The property features half acre grounds which feature an infinity pool and a separate spa. In addition, there's an outdoor fireplace, a built-in barbecue, and outdoor bar for the complete resort-like setting. In 2019, Hardin had rented a $30 million mega mansion in Beverly Hills. The dig featured 14,500 square feet of property and boasted eight bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. Among some of the glamorous features were a front yard, fountain, gym, spa, wine cellar, pool, and wet bar. In other words, the place was insane. Essentially everything you needed to throw a dope party. After a series of parties that Hardin had thrown, George Santo Pietro was suing Hardin due to over $300,000 of damages. Santo Pietro claims Hardin signed a contract to use the home as a vacation rental for one week starting in August 11th, 2019, paying $82,000 for the stay. However, the contract stated that Hardin could not have more than seven adults on the premises at any given time. A larger gathering would be considered a party, and Sancho Pietro says he typically charges $150,000 for big events on the property. In his suit, Sancho Pietro says Hardin agreed to the deal, but threw at least two parties anyways with more than 50 people at the house. With the damages and noise complaints, Sancho Pietro was cheesed, but with Hardin clearing over $228 million on his most recent contract, it's assumed he probably will be all right financially. At the turn of 2020, Hardin had made his most recent real estate purchase, and this was at the mother of all purchases. The house was snagged for $10 million, comfortably nestled on more than 3.5 acres of land in Rivercrest. Memorial Modern took three years to complete and boasts more than 26,000 square feet, complete with a grotto, wine room, casita, full bar, prep kitchen, and fitness room. It's crafted from commercial grade steel with minimalist design elements. The modern living room features beautiful white tiling, floor to ceiling windows, lavish furnishings, and an elegant marble fireplace. The sleek black dining room features a large rustic table, oversized window to give the room an airy and roomy ambiance, and is adjacent to a wine testing cave. For those lucky enough to visit, can relax at the exotic cocktail bar which features elegant marble countertops, cozy high tops, and an abundance of beverages for those that fancy a Chardonnay. The double marble island kitchen features black ceiling light fixtures that give an amber modern touch. In addition, the prep kitchen features complimenting white cabinets, stainless steel range, and glossy black island drawers and appliances. The kitchen opens to the exterior grotto pool surrounded by violet covered cabanas. The innovative master bedroom features elegant hardwood flooring, a textured fireplace, and access to the terrace. Hardin's ultra modern master bathroom is a work of art that features marble flooring, vaulted wood ceilings, oversized mirrors, transparent glass, and even a barber's chair. Probably the most glamorous spot in Hardin's house is the backyard that features cabanas, a beautiful saltwater pool, and spa. With plenty of cozy lounging chairs, the pool features a grotto and it steps away from the outdoor wet bar. If there's one thing Hardin knows when purchasing real estate is homes where you can party. Would love to party at this spot. I'm just saying, Hardin, you can, you can call me up. All right, so I think we'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at James Harden's home in that massive upgrade in Houston with 26,000 square feet, a beautiful pool, and a grotto. Wow. After seeing that fancy house he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Harden? Personally, I was a huge fan of his second Houston home. I, I don't know how you snag a 26,000 square foot home. Like, that's... It's beyond, beyond imagination. Derrick Rose, who is best known as the superstar professional basketball player for the New York Knicks and the NBA, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate in California and formerly Chicago where he started his career. During his time with the Chicago Bulls, Rag snagged a swanky three bedroom, four bathroom condo near the top floor of Chicago's Trump Tower that he fell in love with while staying at the hotel for three weeks. Rose then snagged an absolute stunner at the Sunset Plaza, which was featured in his Adidas Basketball is Everything commercial. This 13,000 foot residence that features an infinity pool and panoramic views of Los Angeles is a showstopper. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. Derrick Rose has had quite the lucrative career, killing it in professional ball, garnering a net worth of $90 million, and currently earns the veteran minimum NBA salary of $2.1 million per season. However, in this peak, he earned $21 million playing for the Knicks. In a typical year, he earns $12 to $15 million from endorsements alone, most notably that lucrative Adidas deal. After being drafted by the Bulls in 2008, Rose signed a shoe deal with Adidas for $1 million a year. In 2012, he signed a deal with Adidas that ultimately could be worth $185 million. He has also signed deals with Wilson Sporting Goods, Skull Candy Headphones, Powerade, Force Factor Sports Drinks, and a suburban Chicago Nissan dealership. 
Now, while he was making bank playing pro ball, he managed to snag that big ticket with Adidas. Some of the notable deal insights include $185 million overall deal value over 14 years, an agreement that Adidas pays him at least $12 million per year. In addition, he is given an additional $5 million per year for appearance fees and access to a private jet for transportation. Rose could earn up to an additional $6.5 million per year in royalties based on sales. The Adidas contract pays Derek's older brother $250,000 dollars per year as a consultant, while the contract pays his childhood friend $75,000 as a consultant as well. Derrick Rose sounds like a pretty good friend, taking care of his brother and his childhood best friend. Good thing that he got that ticket inked because 64 days after signing the contract, Derrick tore his ACL and has never been the same. Needless to say, Rose has enough money from salary and endorsements to last him a lifetime. And I've got to say, some of these homes that he's owned are pretty sick. Fresh off becoming the NBA's youngest MVP, Rose had splashed out $2.8 million dollars for a three bedroom, four bathroom condo near the top floor of Chicago's Trump Tower. The 84th floor, 3,000 square foot unit is located in the 92 story near North Side building. It offers panoramic views of the city, including both the river and Lake Michigan. Rose claimed that he fell in love with the place during a three week stay at the hotel. It's definitely an unbelievable feeling just being up there. The view is nice and I don't take it for granted. It's a blessing. Rose financed the purchase with a $1.7 million mortgage and eventually purchased the one bedroom unit next door. Not down the wall in between them and expanded his space into a bigger, more open floor plan. Decked out with elegant mahogany wood flooring, the living room features floor to ceiling windows that boast a stunning view, enormous white columns, and a cozy fireplace. The kitchen is decked out with stainless steel appliances, an electric stove, marble countertops, and an island perfectly centered in the room. By the looks of it, there was ample storage space in the custom cabinetry and the island. While the guest rooms were quite spacious and featured breathtaking views, the master bedroom featured additional views, yet another another sleek fireplace and walk-in closet big enough to pose as another room in the house. Rose's master bathroom features dual sinks, two large standing showers, and a colossal soaking tub perfectly centered between the two, perfect for relaxation. The Trump Tower is the second largest skyscraper in Chicago, and the residence is filled with a number of luxe amenities. The resident features arguably downtown Chicago's most exclusive rooftop restaurant and bar. The terrace at the Trump is a posh outdoor lounge space that features extraordinary views of the city while serving and glamorous refreshments and cocktails that are ideal for warm summer seasons. The mezzanine level of Trump Tower Chicago is the unique and stylish Rebar Lounge, which features downtown's best specialty cocktails, perfect for an after work social gathering or a fabulous night on the town. Also located on the 16th floor is the glamorous 16 Restaurant, a Michelin star rated dining experience that's among the best in the city. The Trump Tower residence also features a private pool looking out to the city from 14 floors up. The pool was 75 meters in length and features three full length tap lanes. Additionally, guests at the pool enjoy available dining services while they relax poolside. The fitness center features a spacious and bright space that overlooks the Chicago River and comes complete with free weights, resistance machines, and all the best cardio equipment to help make getting in your daily exercise a thing of luxury. Possibly the most glamorous spot in the residence was the spa at the Trump that sparks 23,000 square feet and boasts 11 spa treatment rooms, making Rose's relaxing experience a thing of beauty and can include anything from massages to facials and relaxation programs and beauty treatments. Rose's next big real estate purchase was a stunner as the home features over 13,000 square feet and boasts eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms. The home features a resort-like sanctuary with three distinct structures, including a main residence, wellness center, and guest house that was used for Rose's Adidas commercial, Basketball is Everything. The home features floor to ceiling glass walls and clean edges and an outdoor entertainment area on the elevated patio deck. Let me tell you guys, this home is absolutely filled with luxurious amenities including a private screening room perfect for going over game day footage. Rose's gymnasium that puts regular gyms to shame in his very own wellness center that comes complete with change rooms, jacuzzi, and steam rooms. In addition, the home features a parking lot for up to 25 people, so we're willing to bet that he's thrown a few team parties at this residence, and a wine cellar that comes complete with a wine tasting room. One of the most lavish features of this house includes the easy in and out floor with retractable walls, but we'll get to the outdoor area in just a minute. The home features a number of glamorous living spaces that that come complete with a profusion of lavish furnishings, abundance of cozy fireplaces, and custom fixtures and fittings throughout. One living space connects to the pool area and features a sleek kitchen that comes complete with stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and an elegant island perfectly centered in the room. In addition, Rose's home features a butler's pantry that's basically the size of a basketball court. Rose's master bedroom features a profusion of sleek furnishings, fireplace, flat screen television, and private access to the rooftop entertainment area, while the master bathroom features dual sinks 
a large soaking tub that boasts terrific Cali views and an enormous standing shower, perfect for relaxation. As glamorous as the interior of the home is, the backyard features a glamorous infinity pool and spa, outdoor barbecue, and bar and kitchen, with fire pit and entertainment area. In addition, guests lucky enough to visit can take the party to the second level patio deck, with panoramic views of both the rolling lawns and California landscape. Out comes Sexton in a hurry, north-south of the basket. Missed the shot, Thompson follows and Thompson dunks. You know him as Canadian basketball star and fourth overall pick in the 2011 NBA draft by the Cleveland Cavaliers. At the time, he was the highest drafted Canadian born player in NBA history. It's Tristan Thompson. Starting out in Brampton, Ontario, Thompson has went on to win one NBA championship with the Cavs. He began dating reality star Khloe Kardashian in September 2016, and the pair welcomed a daughter, True Thompson, in April 2018. Oh. Good job! Did you make a wish? The six foot nine big man has a net worth of 35 million as of 2020. That may not be a substantial amount compared to the likes of LeBron James or Steph Curry, but there's no denying that Thompson is rolling in the deep. He's currently earning much more than a majority of other players in the NBA. Just because of the history of how tough it's been, I think when you see a team have success, whether it's the Browns, the Cavs, or the Indians, we should support each other. I think it's only right. While most of Thompson's earnings come from his salary from the Cavs, he has secured endorsement deals with the likes of Beats by Dre, Complex, Nike, Moet and Shandon, and Mountain Dew. Brad, you know what I like? He enjoys passing the ball as much as scoring. The second quarter, Thompson takes a lob at the rim, hooks, and scores. All his hard work paid dividends for him in 2015 when he signed a huge extension with the Cavs. Oh, no, it's a great feeling, you know. Uh, you know, they were a family. You know, mm -hmm. we're families and my brothers. Seeing one of your brothers come home and just, you know, just give him a big hug and just, you know, just excited to have him back. This came out to the tune of 82 million for five years. Additionally, he reportedly also pockets 12,000 a month from the Canadian basketball national team. With his big bucks, Tristan Thompson has been able to secure quite the real estate over the years. During the NBA season, Tristan has a nice little pad outside of Cleveland, which has beautiful views of Lake Erie, has more than 6,000 square feet of space, and a perfectly serene outdoor area. The basketball star purchased the extravagant home in 2015 for 1.9 million. The house has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms. The formal living room features a very open and airy concept with amazing views, great for entertaining. The family room comes with an astonishing view and probably a cozy spot to chill with the view of the frozen lake and roaring fire. The decked out kitchen looks like an absolute gem to prepare a feast and a plan a cool party. Not going to lie, the concrete floor is pretty amazing. I'm telling you, the industrial look is like very trendy right now. The abode comes with a sleek bathroom and while it may not compare to other Cali digs, this place is pretty nice. Tristan's home in LA features four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and 3,600 square feet. The house last sold in 2019 for 6.5 million, and estimated value today is still 6.5 million dollars. The estimated mortgage is 31,000 per month. The listing described as truly spectacular gated new construction south of the boulevard provides the ultimate luxury. The wide entry hallway with ultra high ceilings and checkered marble tile welcome you to the dazzling dining room with brass built-in cabinets and a formal living room with marble fireplace and private patio. European oak wood floors guide you to the sophisticated family room with marble slab fireplace and wooden built-ins. Across is the awe-inspiring kitchen with two black quartz counters, designer appliances, breakfast nook, and all convenience for the gourmet chef. A guest ensuite media room and downstairs laundry room complete the first floor. Take the marble staircase upstairs to the opulent master bedroom with marble fireplace and custom built-ins with wine cooler. The unique design has two separate bathrooms and a walk-in closet on the opposite sides. Both have spa-like marble tiled bathroom, steam shower, and soaking tub in one. The upstairs laundry and three other en-suites with walk-in closets complete the second floor. The backyard is exquisite with marble-like stone patio and deck pool oversized spa, outdoor kitchen with marble counter and black splash with bar counter. Behind the spa, there's a fire pit with built-in seating. What's really dope is the two bedroom and one bathroom pool house with open floor plan, family room, and kitchenette. Accordion doors open both walls for indoor and outdoor entertaining. This stunner is walking distance to Ventura shops, dining, and all that Encino has to offer. Though he bought the LA mansion barely a year ago following their it's complicated relationship slash breakup with Khloe Kardashian. He did kiss me. My family was ruined. Tristan might love me, whatever that means. He has no respect for me whatsoever. Mommy! Tristan Thompson was looking to bounce out of his gated mansion in LA. After Khloe's widely reported relationship with social media's Jordan Woods. I know I'm not the reason 
that Tristan and Chloe are not together. Thompson hung an $8.5 million price tag on the estate, as was first reported by the Daily Mail. That's a big jump above the $6.5 million the 6'9 Canadian originally paid for the extravagant property, though it appears he made a handful of interior customizations during his short tenure. Set well back from the street behind towering trees, the modern farmhouse style structure was built new in 2018 and offers an attached three car garage and a commodious motor court for another half dozen vehicles. The nearly 10,000 square foot manor boasts seven bedrooms and a total of seven and a half bathrooms, including all the latest extravagant amenities buyers at this premium price point have come to expect. Guests will be amazed by the home's soaring foyer, which offers checkerboard marble floors and a thickly veined marble staircase. Immediately inside lies a glam living room upholstered with a sophisticated black and white color palette and a marble fireplace. Across the hall lies an equally decadent formal living room that's paired with an adjoining wine closet. An Eaton kitchen features two islands and top of the line Wolf Sub-Zero appliances and opens to the family room where there's another marble fireplace, built-in wooden bookshelves, and glassy pocket doors that blur the indoor-outdoor boundary between the house and the resort-style backyard. As well, there's a white subway tile backsplash and a unique gold-accented event over the stainless steel stove. Thompson has slightly modified the home's upstairs master retreat with his own sand-colored custom wallpaper, though the bedroom retains its original light fixtures and marble fireplace. There are also dual master baths and closets, plus six additional bedroom suites throughout the main house. Perhaps Thompson's biggest interior switch-up happened in the estate's movie theater, where listing images show he replaced the original gray-blue paint with some textured charcoal wallpaper, plus a giant velvet couch that can accommodate every member of the Cavs, or at least all the Kardashian-Jenner family. The property's 43-acre lot is packed with outdoor amenities too, including a sleek fire pit, pool, spa, and outdoor kitchen with bar seating. At the far rear of the property is a 1,500 square foot guest house with its own columned loggia, two bedrooms, full bathroom, family bedroom, and a second kitchen. The formal dining room, also reimagined by Sagan, features a waterfall chandelier light fixture and eye-catching gold cabinetry. Happy that I've had uh, five. You can never take it for granted. And, you know, I'm happy that um, on this stage I can represent, uh, my, you know, my country, Greece, and uh, the city of Milwaukee, and uh, my family and myself. You know, it's one of the biggest stages of basketball. Hope I do, I do well, and I'm just happy that I'm here. Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is best known as a superstar basketball player for the Milwaukee Bucks, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate in Wisconsin. Back in 2018, the NBA superstar who earned the nickname The Greek Freak forked out $1.8 million for a property in River Hills, Wisconsin. Built in 2005, the property features a whopping 10,000 square foot home and boasts five bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms. In addition, the home features a two-story guest house perfect for hosting family members. In addition, Giannis does own some property in Greece, but not much is known about it today. What's crazy, despite making the purchase while making $24 million this year, the young superstar was bunking in a two-bedroom apartment with his mother, girlfriend, and brother. We're willing to bet after earning a record-breaking NBA deal, his real estate portfolio will only increase. At the age of 26, Giannis Antetokounmpo has already built quite the lucrative career, garnering a net worth of $70 million, with a current salary of $45 million a season. Giannis Antetokounmpo was born in Athens, Greece in December 1994 and was drafted number 15 by the Milwaukee Bucks in the 2013 NBA Draft. Giannis's first big ticket was in September 2016. Giannis signed a four-year deal worth $100 million with the Bucks. While his money seems like more than most could ever dream to earn in a lifetime, it would be chicken scratch compared to his next deal. In addition, Giannis has a shoe endorsement deal with Nike among several other significant endorsement deals. In November 2017, Giannis signed a long-term endorsement contract with Nike. Between 2017 and 18, Giannis earned 35 million from salary and endorsements. Between June 2018 and 19, he earned 43 million. He earns at least 10 million per year from endorsements. On December 15, 2020, Giannis signed a five-year, $228 million contract extension with the Bucks. In terms of dollars per season, it was the largest contract in NBA history at the time of signing. The deal pays an average annual salary of $45 million. When you include the final year of his previous contract, Giannis will earn $256 million over his six seasons. By the end of the contract, Giannis will be earning $51.9 million per season, which will work out to almost $650,000 a game. It's safe to say that Giannis will no longer have to bunk in a two-bedroom apartment with his mother, girlfriend, and brother. We can assume that since signing the 
contract before 2021 that he will likely add more to his real estate portfolio. But for the time being, he has a pretty dope spot not too far away from his home court. You know, every game I play, I try to win. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer. Today, we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. Notice 95% of you guys are not subscribed while watching. Please hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now, we've previously reported on the homes of Tiger Woods and Justin Timberlake. So if you'd like to, please check those out on our channel. And if you like these videos, please ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at that McFly and comment in this comment section below of whose house tour we should do next. Let's get into the video. Before the shutdown, we had a, um, a team meeting as a team and uh, we talked about it, you know, that we got to be, you know, more safe and we got to protect ourselves. We cannot, um, you know, go out, you know, be around people and all that. I should just go and get a bunch of groceries and just stay home until we see how this plays out. And um, a couple of days later, the whole NBA got shut down. And I remember telling you, I was like, I told you you wasn't listening to me. I told you this is serious. Since arriving in Milwaukee for the 2013 season, Giannis has lived on Lake Drive, then in a lakeside condo in St. Francis, and most recently in an apartment on the Milwaukee River downtown, surrounded by family, of course. It appears Giannis had traded his water views for land and lots of it, 230,000 square feet in total to be exact. What's crazy is that's just a bit shy of the size of Acropolis in Antetokounmpo's hometown of Athens, where he he was born. Built in 2005, the property features a whopping 10,000 square foot home and boasts five bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms. In addition, the home features a two-story guest house perfect for hosting family members. Fun little fact, one wall is totally retractable and opens to the Lux outdoor pool. Upon arrival, a winding circular drive welcomes guests lucky enough to visit to over 11,000 square feet of luxury living. Prior to entering the home, the River Hills Mansion features oversized windows that give the house bright life and an airy and roomy ambiance. In addition, the home features a grand second-story balcony, which perfectly centered in the middle of the home. The home features dark toned woodwork throughout the five bedrooms, seven and a half bath home, as well as soaring ceilings that make for a grand spacious home. I mean, it would only make sense for this nearly seven foot tall basketball player. These living spaces are a thing of beauty as they feature massive cozy furnishings, elegant artwork, paintings, modern antiques, and cozy fireplaces. The home features generous room sizes and closet space. And now when I say closet space, I mean one closet is the size of a bedroom and features an abundance of custom built-ins. The home features an open concept kitchen which is decked out in stainless appliances, marble countertops, and a breakfast island perfectly centered in the room. The kitchen which is steps away from the family room that comes complete with patio doors giving access to the Lux backyard. In addition, the home features a vaulted ceiling sunroom with a two-way fireplace for those cold miserable Wisconsin winters. The master suite features an additional two large walk-in closets, large soaking tub which boasts terrific countryside views, and a massive walk-in shower and separate tub. Perfect for relaxation. Upstairs, the home features five large bedrooms and four full bathrooms and bonus room perfect for his extended family. One of the bathroom's exquisite tile work extends to an additional walk-in shower and soaking tub. Probably one of the more luxurious spots in the house is Giannis's fully finished lower level which features a wet bar, games room, theater room, and wine cellar for those that fancy a Chardonnay. In addition, the lower level features massive leather furnishings and ample space to chill out while catching televised sports events. We're willing to bet he threw a few team parties here. You'll be happy to know that Giannis knows how to work hard and play hard. His home features a home gym and the office where he's probably signed an endorsement deal or two. I mean, one reason Antetokounmpo may have scoped out this property is that home gym, which rivals the size of most hotel fitness centers. I mean, I pay dues to work out at a place that's not nearly as nice as this. So we got an opportunity to see the inside of Giannis's castle, but that backyard is not playing around. The backyard is decked out with rolling lawns, manicured grounds, and a massive in-ground pool and guest house. The pool comes with all the features you'd expect, such as a spa, an abundance of luxe furnishings, an outdoor barbecue area, and an additional bar perfect for relaxation. Whether you are a family member, teammate, or guest, this yard does not disappoint. Speaking of that guest, once the walls are attracted, that cute little guest house features easy access and comes complete with additional poolside furnishings, interior living space, and a second story balcony which overlooks the grounds. In addition to the luxurious living space and glamorous amenities, the home is also conveniently located. It's about 15 minutes north of downtown Milwaukee, close to Giannis' stomping grounds. The area is considered one of the Milwaukee area's most affluent suburbs. This community of around 1,600 residents has historically attracted pro athletes to its 5.5 square miles. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Giannis Antetokounmpo's luxurious
luxurious mansion that features a whopping 10,000 square feet. Nice to see the upgrade from the living in apartments. After seeing that fancy little house he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of the Greek Freak? Personally, I'm a huge fan of that outdoor pool house with the retractable wall. I haven't seen that yet. I have not seen that yet. The superstar baller Bradley Beal, who is best known as the three-time All-Star for the Washington Wizards in the NBA, has managed to snag himself some pretty luxurious real estate. Back in 2016, fresh off of his first big ticket, Bradley dropped $3.2 million for a newly constructed 8,134 square foot home in McLean, Virginia. The home offers a number of luxuries, including a stunning outdoor patio with sound system, cast stone fireplace, and a soundproof home theater with two rows of recliners. Back in October of 2020, Beal made Wizards fans sweat a little bit after dropping $6.8 million for a spectacular 7,200 square foot home in Venice, California. And as you may expect, this palace is just packed with luxe amenities, including a wine cellar with seating area, movie theater with wet bar, and a pool spa combo with waterfall features. However, don't sweat it too much, Wizards fans, because as it turns out, Beal quietly made another purchase in Bethesda, Maryland. Back in 2016, after Beal signed his record-breaking five year $127 million contract with the Wizards, he dropped $3.2 million for a newly constructed estate in McLean, Virginia. The residence includes 12,000 square feet of space on a half acre lot and boasted six bedrooms and nine bathrooms. Upon entry, the grand foyer includes a spiraling staircase, custom mahogany doors that lead to a patio and a sparkling chandelier soaring above. The estate includes a number of formal and dining room spaces, offering 10 foot coffered ceilings, sleek hardwood flooring, and a stone fireplace, as well as elegant chandeliers hovering above. Ideal for cooking up a storm, the bright gourmet kitchen includes a wolf range and all the essential professional grade appliances, marble quartz countertops centered on a stunning granite island. Additional kitchen features include custom cabinetry and a butler's pantry with ample storage. A room fit for a kid includes a master bedroom with crystal chandeliers chandeliers, wood-burning fireplace, and private balcony access overlooking the backyard. I guess the kid needs a, needs a balcony access. Yeah, makes sense. Additional master suite features include a spacious seating area with a view and a massive walk-in closet, perfect for storing all of Bradley's kicks. While the all-white master bathroom features dual sinks, a colossal soaking tub that can easily support his six foot five frame, and a large glass rain shower, ideal for unwinding. Additional goodies include a makeup station and private balcony access. I mean, are you kidding me? But he has his own balcony in his bathroom. For guests lucky enough to visit, you can stay in a bunk room with a built-in bunk bed and chalkboard wall. I mean, hey, not a bad spot for Beal and his teammates to do some X's and O's. Additional interior features include an exercise room decked out with all the machines, his or her change rooms, and a steam room for post-workouts. Now, just in case Beal needs to work out an endorsement deal or another max contract, his estate comes with a library slash home office with custom built-in shelving, custom mahogany doors that lead to the backyard, and an additional fireplace. Really getting those CEO vibes with that room, not gonna lie. Perhaps the biggest selling point of this home has to be the soundproof home theater with three rows of recliners, a wet bar, and a massive projector screen. While original listing photos come without the recliners, Beale made sure to spruce up the room with some leather seats and drinking holders during his stay. Now, just because this isn't the lavish estate in California does not mean that Beale didn't know how to splurge with his backyard setup. I mean, for starters, the exterior featured an outdoor patio and includes a sound system with a cast stone fireplace. While the backyard sports a pool with a built-in slide, hot tub, barbecue area with a built-in pizza oven, additionally, the grounds include a separate pool house with a kitchenette loft and a media center with plush furnishings and a flat screen television, ideal for catching some highlights. With multiple lounging and dining spaces available, Beal certainly made the most out of his backyard setup. Not too shabby at all, Brad. In September of 2020, Beal parted with the starter home after it was sold to entrepreneur Steven Sales, the co-founder of And Pizza, for $3.5 million. While Wizards fans began to panic and speculate Beal was leaving town, it turns out the reason for the sale was that Beal was just upgrading his house. Property records revealed that the couple acquired a new main residence in Bethesda, Maryland. While the property was snagged under the radar, we can confirm that the mansion features 12,000 square feet and includes a tennis court with a guest house for a whopping 7.8 million. Since the purchase was done discreetly, we do not have any photos, but when we get them for you, you will hear from us first. I mean, hey, I'll do another Bradley Beal house tour. 
I mean, when you're making record-breaking deals in the NBA, you are bound to spread your real estate seed to some of the most luxurious homes in the world, and Bradley Beal is no exception to this case. In September of 2020, Beal forked out $6.8 million for a 7,200 square foot compound that boasts five bedrooms and nine bathrooms in LA's hip Venice neighborhood. Built in 2020, the brand spanking new estate comes with three floors and all the luxe amenities you could possibly want, including a wine cellar, movie theater, state-of-the-art smart home technology, and a resort-style backyard. Beyond towering walls and the secure gate, the compound includes a concrete pathway decorated with a courtyard, fountains, and stunning greenery. The grand entrance unlocks an all-white open space with living, dining, and family rooms decorated with plush furnishings, custom cabinetry, built-in fireplace, and massive flat-screen television perfect for entertaining. The selling point of this home has to be the Fleetwood sliders that open to the luxurious backyard patio, seamlessly blending the interior with the exterior. I mean, is it even a luxurious California estate if you can't live the highly coveted California lifestyle? Sorry, just as a Canadian, this indoor, outdoor living stuff is simply something I can only dream of. While the open kitchen offers gloss back cabinetry, Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances, marble quartz countertops, and a stunning granite island bar that can seat five, additionally, the kitchen includes a butler's pantry with plenty of space and a gorgeous dining table with a view. While the master suite comes with a fireplace surrounded by a wall of exotic stones, private seating area, and balcony with a walk-in closet big enough to pose as a boutique store, the ensuite bathroom includes a massive soaking tub with a view, party-sized shower, his or her sinks, situated on a sleek courtesile floor. All of the four family bedrooms are found on the upper level and include their own ensuite bathrooms. Other worthy amenities include a powder room and a maid's quarters downstairs. However, the showstopper has to be the soundproof movie theater, fully furnished to Bradley's liking, touched nicely with a games room, lounging area, and shuffleboard, as well as a wet bar. Additionally, the lower level features a petite gym and yoga studio for the more mindful guests. The average person probably can't fathom why you'd play basketball in Washington and own real estate in Los Angeles. However, a lot like these other NBA stars who own real estate in California, you'll, you'll understand why. Thanks to walls of glass pocket doors, the estate offers multiple dining areas inside and out, one of which appears to be a lush courtyard with a profusion of alfresco entertaining spaces. The backyard comes with a pool spa combo with waterfall features that actually inspired a five-star Amagari resort in Utah. Additionally, the grounds boast an outdoor barbecue area, additional wet bar, fire pit, and fountains giving Beal and company a flawless experience. I mean, pretty big snack. I've said it time and time again. Um, I believe in our group. We know we got a really good team to go up against. We can enjoy it for the night, but um, we, we said this from the beginning of the year. Last year, it was reported NBA star Jimmy Butler was moving to the Miami Heat, and yes, I mean both the basketball team and the actual city. He signed a four-year contract with the team and was on his way to South Beach. With the NBA Finals in full swing and Jimmy proving himself as one of this year's stars, he hasn't had much time to relax in his new hometown. But today, we'll take a look at a few of his properties past and present, like his Pennsylvania mansion, what we know about his current living situation, and more. We even found some of the listings. Jimmy Butler III is a professional basketball player for the Miami Heat of the NBA, who's a shooting guard and small forward. After playing one year of college basketball at Tyler Junior College, he transferred to Marquette University. He was drafted with the 30th overall pick in the 2011 NBA Draft by the Chicago Bulls. Nicknamed Jimmy Buckets, he's a five-time NBA All-Star, four-time NBA All-Defensive Team honoree, and three-time All-NBA Team honoree. In 2015, Jimmy was named the most improved player in the NBA as well. With his team in the NBA Finals against the LA Lakers, Jimmy has proven himself as a star this year, and this is Jimmy's first appearance in the Finals. However, Jimmy's journey to success hasn't been all that easy. It began with his mother kicking him out of the house at a young age, and he had to beat the odds to make his dreams come true. Over the course of his NBA career, Jimmy was pushed to his physical limits in Chicago, misunderstood in Minnesota, and heartbroken in Philadelphia before arriving in Miami. He has never felt happier or more fulfilled than during this past year with the Heat, but he knows that he must reach another level to shock the world. Forbes estimates Butler's current net worth at about $27 million, with an annual salary of $19.9 million, and he's made the list of world's highest paid athletes as of 2020. Not to mention, Jimmy earns around $3 million more from endorsements, working with brands such as Aqua Hydrate, Beats by Dr. Dre, Bonobos, and more. 
Of course, Jimmy has been staying in Miami because of his contract with the Heat. However, there isn't much information on where he lives here. It was also reported that during the early days of the pandemic, the athlete was staying in San Diego. Jimmy explained in an Instagram live appearance about his quarantine days. Another day in the life, so bored. It's the same thing every day for me. We're in California, we wake up early as, so like we normally train at 5.30 a.m. and then we have not anything to do for the rest of the day, literally. Although Jimmy still owns some real estate in Chicago, while playing for the Bulls, he used to live in a lavish mansion in River North. In 2017, the home came on the market and it was enormous, spanning 10,000 square feet of space with six beds and 5.5 baths. Jimmy paid 4.3 million for the home back in 2015 and then listed it for 5 million. Jimmy's previous Chicago mansion was located on a quiet tree-lined street and offered a winding classic looking staircase through it. Completed in 2008, the house featured a nouveau chateau exterior and matching interior your appearance, with the staircase being built custom. There was also an elevator to get around in case those stairs were too intimidating. Other features included a cozy office, study room, a rec room complete with full bar and billiards table, and a 750 bottle wine cellar. Since the home was in the city, there wasn't much land or yard space around it, but there were multiple outdoor decks and terraces to make up for that. While Jimmy no doubt enjoyed this mansion during his time with the Bulls, once he was traded, he didn't need such a huge space anymore. A couple years back in 2018, it was reported that Jimmy was keeping some Chicago real estate. Although he was done playing with the Chicago Bulls, he bought the second of two $1 million plus loft condominiums that he purchased at a 41 unit River North building. River North is a lively neighborhood in the near north side of the city, boasting luxury shops and restaurants. Jimmy had two apartments in the recently built Skyrise, but listed one of them for $1.45 million. In February 2018, Jimmy bought a first floor unit in the building which he still owns to this day that cost him 1.19 million. The second one that Jimmy sold cost him 1.239 million and it was on the fifth floor. Inside, it spanned 1,633 square feet with three beds and two baths. There were hardwood floors throughout, custom Italian cabinets, and a private elevator entrance. Although this one was nice, the unit Jimmy kept is even more spacious and luxe. Although he's not a Chicago native and only stays there sometimes, he really likes the building. His Chicago condo has exposed brick walls, high ceilings, and a ton of privacy fit for a star athlete. It's a high-end building to say the least. More recently, in 2019, the Camp Woods Estate, as listing materials call it, was put on the market, and Jimmy used to live here as well. It was rumored that Jimmy bought the home for $6 million, but other sources claim he was renting the place. Whatever the case may be, while playing for the Philadelphia 76ers last year, Jimmy was living lavish in this historic mansion. Once he went to his current team, this mega home was listed for a cool $6.8 million. If you thought his Chicago house was impressive, wait till you see this place. Located in Ambler, Pennsylvania, just 16 miles from downtown Philly, this home is literally on the same grounds George Washington and his troops lived on in the 1700s. The mansion was built in 1913 as a wedding gift for a young couple. The lot spans a whopping 7.8 acres and the estate was reimagined and expanded more recently by architect Renee Hoffman and custom builder Great Estates Inc. Jimmy's previous residents combined the best of modern living and old world charm with upgraded systems while keeping the historic details of the home. The beautiful mega mansion spans 14,000 square feet inside with six beds and seven baths. It was totally my kind of house, a girl can dream. The tree-shaded property offered a gated entrance with stone columns and a circular driveway in front of the house. Walking in, there was a light-filled entry hall leading to a formal entertaining spaces and cozy family rooms. There were white oak floors, a gorgeous stone finishes, and custom windows that replicated the originals from 1913. This spacious Eden chef's kitchen had professional-grade appliances and a butler's pantry. Jimmy's mansion also boasted features like five fireplaces throughout, a home movie theater, a wine cellar, a custom dog grooming area, which is a feature I'd like, and even an elevator. Take the stairs or the elevator upstairs and you'll find Jimmy's previous master suite. The spacious room offered an attached lounge area with walkout terrace, marble ensuite bath with bay window overlooking the yard, and a huge dressing room. There were a ton of upgrades like state-of-the-art security throughout, 28 zones of radiant heat, and 13 zones of chilled water cooling systems as well. The indoor and outdoor spaces blended well, and there was a huge 5,000 square foot stone terrace with salt water pool out back. 
Other outdoor highlights included two fireplaces and many spots to dine and enjoy the landscape. The home comes with furnishings and the art collection specially chosen by the owner, according to the listing. If Jimmy was just renting the place, it would have cost him about 20k per month, but I can see why. Now that's a hard residence to top. Unfortunately, information on where Jimmy has moved to is slim to none. We can assume he's renting a gorgeous property in Miami considering he's playing for the heats. However, we also know he was spending a lot of the early quarantine days in San Diego. If his previous properties are anything to go by, we can safely assume that wherever Jimmy's living is nothing short of lavish and mansion sized. Hey, what has been your most memorable first? Um. I don't remember, I've done so many so far, so I don't remember, uh, it's, I'm old. Kyle Lowry, who is best known as a superstar basketball player for the Toronto Raptors, has been a six-time NBA All-Star. Lowry has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate in Toronto. Lowry has recently scared Raptors fans after listing his North York luxury home for $5.3 million. This has led fans to start rampant speculation on whether this is a sign that Lowry could be leaving Toronto via a trade for free agency. Located in Northern Toronto, Lowry's home features a 9,700 square foot luxury home and boasts six bedrooms and 10 bathrooms and filled with some dope amenities. How to become a better person. It's just toughness. You don't want to fight, but if you're going to fight, win. Nothing matters but winning. Superstar Kyle Lowry has had quite the lucrative career in the NBA, garnering a net worth of $55 million and currently earns $33 million a season. Spending nearly a decade with the Raptors and going on top of six NBA All-Star games, Lowry has signed a number of big tickets with the Raptors. We'll go out there every day and lace them up and we'll defend it every single night and um, hopefully we can defend it and uh, you know, keep it going and keep this party going. In 2014, he signed a four-year deal with the Toronto Raptors for $48 million. In 2017, Kyle Lowry signed a new three-year deal worth $100 million with the Toronto Raptors. His average salary per game starting in the 2017-18 season will go on to be $406,000. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Kyle Lowry earned a whopping $30 million between salary and endorsements, the majority of which came from his Raptors salary. So with everything Lowry has done for the franchise, he recently caused a stir among the Raptors fan base after a real estate listing has popped up in North York, a suburb of Toronto. With the start the Raptors have had, it has the city's basketball fans desperate for news. I don't put much on social media besides the um, trophy when I had the trophy. I'm a very private guy. Um, you know, I do everything kind of in privacy. While there was no official confirmation, fans and media outlets pieced together clues becoming more than confident it was Raptors star Kyle Lowry's house. Well, for one thing, the house is seen in an ESPN video and the condo buildings in the background point to a specific intersection in North York. A quick look at the listing price at the rumored $5.3 million brings up just one house in that area. Since the interior photos show the place empty and staged, it's obvious no family with two young boys live there. And we know Lowry is in Tampa with the Raptors until the end of the season and that many of the team's members members have their families with them. Lowry is slated to be a free agent at the end of this season and that trade deadline is in March. The timing might make sense if a move were to be the case. Whether or not Lowry is relocating homes or moving out of Toronto for good, the home is truly fit for an all-star. Lowry's 9,700 square foot luxury home features six bedrooms and 10 bathrooms and is decked out with a bunch of dope amenities. Guests lucky enough to visit are greeted to a grand entrance, features a floating spiral oak staircase, an elegant crystal chandelier soaring above, and tons of natural light. With an abundance of oversized windows that give the home bright life and an airy and roomy ambiance, the house gives a super modern and trendy feel with lots of marble throughout. In addition, the grand entrance features a balcony overlooking the foyer and is decked out with custom fixtures. For guests too lazy to take the stairs, the home features an elevator is located on the first floor and takes you throughout the three levels of the house. One of the features that make the home seem even bigger than it actually is are the huge hallways and is nicely touched with a mix of white and gray marble and dark wood. I mean, take a look at the wooden staircase and big hallways. Just makes the home super luxurious. In addition, another their glamorous feature is the home comes complete with an abundance of gold accents, perfect for a six-time all-star. The gold accents are on display in one of Lowry's living rooms and that features an abundance of lavish furnishings, yet another elegant chandelier and a cozy fireplace perfect for surviving those miserable Canadian winters. One thing Lowry does not mess around with is his kitchen that features dark wood and marble accents, stainless steel appliances, a massive fridge and marble island perfectly centered in the room that comes complete with the plenty of storage space. In addition, the kitchen features separate butler's kitchen with its own appliances and more room than you know 
know what to do with. The house also features a super open concept, linking several rooms, including the kitchen and living room. This living room features an abundance of lavish furnishings that could host a team and an elegant carpet casing, the living area, and decked out with modern decor, including a sleek painting. In addition, Larry's Dig also features a home office with a wood coffered ceiling, custom fixtures, bookshelves, and chandeliers. We're willing to bet Larry signed an endorsement deal or two here. Probably one of the more glamorous spots in his abode is Larry's master bedroom that features a spacious chamber fit for an all-star. Seriously, you could host a scrimmage in there. The room features lavish custom fixtures and furnishings, yet another chandelier hovering above, and massive glass doors which lead to the balcony overlooking the grounds. I mean, look at all of those oversized windows and balcony access. It just blesses the room with loads of natural light. In addition, the master bedroom also features a marble and white walk-in closet with dark wooden floors big enough to be another room in the house. This is a walk-in closet that has more than enough room for that kit collection and is nicely touched with a marble island. Just a walk-in closet that everybody dreams of. Not to be outdone, Larry's master bedroom en suite that could literally pass as a spa. The master bathroom features heated floors, dual sinks, a freestanding tub that boasts views of the grounds, and a large standing shower perfect for relaxation. While Larry's dig features some relaxing rooms, he also has a few rooms perfect for entertaining. One of which features a media room on the lower level, decked out in leather seatings, and colossal projector making this media room feel like a theater. You'll be happy to know that the lower level features a bar that comes complete with a fridge and high top. For those that fancy a Chardonnay and it steps away from another room full of goodies, the games room. This room is decked out with a billiards and foosball table and loads of basketball equipment. Perhaps trying to train a few junior Larrys? Larry clearly likes to work hard and play hard as his dig features home gym and in-house sauna, making trips to the spa unnecessary. As dope as Larry's interior is, the exterior features his very own waterfall, outdoor barbecue and entertainment area, and basketball net. Of course, there's a basketball net. In addition, the backyard features a terrace with access to the lower level and an additional balcony overlooking the grounds. We all know that when you're an all-star like Lowry, you enjoy your whip. So you'll be happy to know the home comes complete with parking for 10 cars, including a triple car garage around the side. Can I get an invite to this team party? Like y'all giving out cars or? Never mind. <laughs> In recent news, San Antonio Spurs star and former Toronto Raptor DeMar DeRozan confirmed a report about an intruder at his home in LA. Located in Hidden Hills, DeMar's mansion is close to Kylie Jenner's, which was apparently where said intruder was actually trying to break into. Aside from his Hidden Hills property, DeRozan formerly lived in a Tarzana house and a home in Canada, which funnily enough is in a suburb I know well. In this video, we'll take a look at three of the NBA star's properties. DeMar DeRozan is a professional basketball player currently for the San Antonio Spurs in the NBA. He hails from Compton, California and previously played college basketball for the USC Trojans, being selected ninth overall by the Toronto Raptors in the 2009 NBA Draft. DeMar is a four-time NBA All-Star and a two-time All-NBA team member. He spent nine seasons with the Raptors, including five playoff runs, before being traded to the Spurs in 2018, which explains why he used to have a mansion close to Toronto. He's also played for the US national team in the 2014 World Cup and the 2016 Summer Olympics, and these days, DeMar has an estimated net worth of about $23 million. As an 11-year NBA veteran, DeRozan now often spends off-seasons at his home in Los Angeles, which is a place where the recent intruder incident went down. First reported by TMZ Sports, apparently a man broke into DeMar's mansion at the end of November and made his way into an area where at least one of his children was at the time. DeMar ended up coming face-to-face -face with the intruder and chased him out of the house, and everyone was okay. The man was reportedly trying to find the home of Kylie Jenner who lives in the same area. They're actually neighbors. Back in 2014, it was reported that DeMar DeRozan bought a home in the neighborhood of Tarzana, California for just over $3.7 million. Tarzana is an area in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles close to Encino and the site of a former ranch owned by author Edgar Rice Burroughs. Sure enough, he wrote the story about the jungle hero Tarzan, which is who this neighborhood is named after. DeRozan's home was his off-season digs when he wasn't playing with the Toronto Raptors and it was close to his roots. Since he was a standout high school basketball star at Compton High School, he didn't go far for college either when he landed at the University of Southern California. Anyways, this mansion allowed the NBA star to have a sweet spot to spend his downtime at away from the court. And inside spans 6,609 square feet with 7 beds and 8 baths. 
The home, built Mediterranean style in 1995, occupies over an acre of land in the guard-gated Mulholland Park area with expansive lawns and naturally a full basketball court too. Entered through a grand foyer with sweeping double staircase, the floor plan of Demar's former home had features like distressed hardwood floors, high ceilings, and detailed molding. There were common spaces like a double height living room with fireplace, formal dining room, media room, as well as a chef's kitchen, complete with double island and the usual high-grade stainless steel appliances. The kitchen also leads out to the covered patio outside with fireplace. Elsewhere, you'll find an additional family room with beam ceilings, an office, maid's room, and more. Among all of the indoor highlights, DeMar could kick back and relax in his master retreat, which offered a sitting area, his and hers closets, balcony, and ensuite with both a soaking tub and a steam shower. The property is set behind towering hedges for added privacy, and the park-like grounds had a covered dining area and a raised pool area with separate patio, a spa, water slide, and covered cabana. While his Tarzana home was gorgeous, he also needed a place in the Great White North for the on season. Next up is a house in Canada that's actually near my family. Home. Located in Mississauga, Ontario, this mansion is probably about 25 minutes from downtown Toronto and in a posh upper class suburb. I drive by these streets often and only the richest and most successful people call these million dollar estates home. It's basically goals. This mansion was reportedly the home of DeMar DeRozan while he played many years on the Toronto Raptors team. He allegedly sold the home in November 2018 when he was getting traded to the San Antonio Spurs. It said DeRozan was unhappy about leaving Toronto at the time and it's easy to see after looking at this beautiful home. The home last sold for about $5.8 million and is on a leafy, quiet street, boasting a stunning yard with over half a million spent on landscaping alone. Inside the mansion spans 8,500 square feet with a total of 15 rooms, 5 beds and 6 baths. There is a double height entry and walking in you can see the custom winding staircase and formal living room with marble fireplace to one side. His former mansion had soaring ceilings, heated floors for those chilly Canadian winters and a total of six fireplaces scattered throughout. Another den near the kitchen had a mounted TV and another fireplace while the kitchen offered custom made cabinets, double ovens and a ton of space to cook and entertain. There were ornate chandeliers, artistry finishings on the wall and top the line everything in this place. Other highlights include included a fully finished basement level with movie theater, custom wet and dry sauna, and a backlit wet bar. The master bedroom was unreal and looked like something from a luxury Las Vegas hotel, while the ensuite was even more lavish. Outside, DeMar's former home had an outdoor kitchen, a bar, mini golf turf, fire pit, and a saltwater pool and spa. These days, we know that DeMar is living in the lavish community of Hidden Hills in LA, and this is also the home where the recent break-in occurred. And I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't find any pics of his home here, but maybe it's for the best to protect he and his family's safety after the incident. I will, however, give you all the details I know about this home. In 2018, it was reported that DeRozan was upgrading from his Canadian mansion into the lavish and exclusive area that only people like the Kardashian Jenners can afford. Hidden Hills, which is easily the wealthiest neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley. This sale went down totally off market, which is why there are no picks, and the seller was Woodbridge Investments. Woodbridge coughed up cash for five vacant lots in Hidden Hills back in 2015, and the swanky Ashley Ridge section of town and two others hidden on a new street. The home I'm talking about is one of these on the new street, only being completed a couple months before DeRozan bought it. DeRozan's Hidden Hills pad is located at the end of this new cul-de-sac that will soon be lined with large mansions if it isn't already. Two doors away was one of Kylie Jenner's compounds and Nicola Sheridan of Desperate Housewives ranch style estate backs onto his as well. This mansion cost DeRozan a whopping $14.95 million and was reportedly paid for in all cash. Sadly, we know very little about this house, but supposedly it spans over 10,000 square feet of space and was built in a contemporary traditional style. The property has a pool and is surrounded by newly planted trees, adding more privacy. At the time the sale was reported, there was a half-sized basketball court in the works as well, so I assume by now that's been completed. If you guys happen to know any more about Damar's current Hidden Hills mansion, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Doncic pulls up, three-pointer, bang, bang, it's good, Doncic wins the game at the buzzer. Luka Doncic, who is best known as the young superstar basketball player for the Dallas Mavericks of the NBA and the Slovenian national team, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate in the old Preston Hollow community of Dallas. In fact, at just 21 years of age, it appears he plans on being a Maverick for a long time, after forking out $2.7 million for the home last November. The home was only on the market for 33 days before Luka snagged it. The only kicker? His new house is just down the street from his boss, Mavs owner Mark Cuban. There's two different types of fears. 
there's the fear of not getting your guy. Yeah. And then there's the fear of when you get your guy, is he, is he the guy you thought you, you <laughs> yeah. thought he was? And obviously Luca has been. Looks like he can't play hooky from work. This glamorous purchase features 5,000 square feet and boasts four bedrooms and six bathrooms and includes all the luxe amenities you'd expect out of an NBA stud, including floor to ceiling windows, state of the art technology, a pool and a four car garage. Luka Doncic has already built quite the comfortable nest egg early in his career, guarding a net worth of $5 million. While it may not seem like much compared to NBA stars today, he's only 21 years of age and is in the middle of his first NBA contract. So essentially this number is expected to raise significantly I mean, he was already named an NBA All-Star during his sophomore season. At such a young age, he has begun seeing endorsement deals pile up. Doncic was a sneaker-free agent before the start of the season, after his shoe deal with Nike expired. However, in December 2019, Luka Doncic signed a multi-year shoe deal with Air Jordan. So obviously you're a Jordan brand member, and I gotta ask you, is there anything special tonight that's gonna happen with the Jordan 35? Are you gonna be wearing anything special? Or is it it's gonna be like, wait till we gotta see moment? I'll say wait till we see. I gotta see him too, I didn't see him yet. To put things in perspective, after Nike announced they signed Doncic to a five-year deal to endorse the company's Air Jordan line, fellow young NBA superstar Zion Williamson also signed with Nike to endorse Jordans, and his deal was worth five years, 75 million. While Luca's financials were not released, but you can guess the numbers are in the neighborhood of Zion. And these endorsement deals are well-earned. Doncic made his international debut with the Slovenian national team at just 17 years of age. After getting drafted, he was selected unanimously to the NBA All-Rookie First Team and won Rookie of the year for the 2018-19 season. He doubled down in his sophomore season by being selected to his first NBA All-Star game and named to the All-NBA First Team. So while the NBA career earnings and endorsement deals begin to pile up, one can only assume Luka will continue to expand his real estate portfolio. In the meantime, he did snag a pretty luxurious home in Old Preston Hollow Estate and features a sleek indoor pool, outdoor entertainment area, and pavilion. So let's get into it. Uh, Luka, how, how much different has it been so far since you got to Atlanta as opposed to uh, last year when you got there for me it's better you know it's quicker you're in and out one day so it's good but it's way different you know with no people here uh, i wish fans would be here that's something you know all-star game is for the fans and i wish I, they were there they were here fresh off his sophomore season luca had purchased a 5,000 square foot and boasts four bedrooms and six bathrooms for 2.7 million dollar home located in the glamorous old preston hollow estate his modern masterpiece sits on a 1.78 acre lot in a luxurious home and provides quite this serene setting that feels like an escape from the city guests lucky enough to visit are greeted to an entrance showcasing an open inviting floor plan with an incredibly efficient use of space the entrance connects to a dining room that features floor to ceiling windows and is connected to a living room decked out with lavish furnishings and sliding glass doors, which leads to the lavish backyard with pool and entertainment area. Lavish, lavish, lavish. In addition, the living room features a large flat screen television which soars over a cozy fireplace. Steps away from living room is a home office decked out with lavish furnishings, an elegant fireplace, and stylish artwork and modern antiques with custom cabinets, shelves, a sleek carpet, and an additional oversized window. This office is the perfect spot to get the brain working. We're willing to bet he signed an endorsement deal or two or three here. <laughs> the kitchen features stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and a breakfast island perfectly centered in the room. In addition, the kitchen features custom cabinets, an oversized pantry, and breakfast area that comes complete with table and windows that feature charming views of the backyard. In fact, the majority of the living space is located downstairs, and virtually every room features oversized windows, which gives the room bright life and an airy and roomy ambiance. In addition, the floor-to-ceiling windows provide picturesque views of the sleek pool and meticulously maintained backyard. One of the master suites located on the first floor features lavish furnishings, a glass sliding door with access to backyard, a walk-in closet big enough to be another room in the house, and access to the glamorous bathroom. In addition, the suite is decked out in a sleek carpet and one of the many flat screen televisions and fireplaces. The bathroom features elegant tiling, marble countertops, a large soaking tub with sleek views, and a large stand and shower perfect for relaxation. In fact, one of the bathroom features a soaking tub inside a stand and shower, which can turn into a steam room on demand. This fancy house features a guest den which boasts a large sofa centered in the room, a kitchenette with marble countertop and large flat screen television, a stair case leads to Luca's spacious home gym, connected to his personal gym as an additional bathroom, change area, and sauna perfect for post-workouts. So we know Luca knows how to work hard, and how about play hard? Well, you'll be happy to know that Luca's Dig also features a games and media room. If you didn't think he already had enough flat screen televisions, the media room features yet another giant projector decked out with lavish furnishings. The cozy layout is steps away from a billiards table and wet bar for those that fancy a cocktail. The home features a smart home system, Control 4, that has been recently updated to expand throughout the home's inside and outside living spaces. Other updates including a new metal roof, outdoor projector, power blinds, enhanced pool equipment, extensive landscaping upgrades, and a major overhaul of the security system and audio 
audio video wiring. In addition, the home features a four car garage and we're willing to bet that we'll go to good use once Lucas signs his next big ticket. As glamorous as the interior of the home is, the outdoor of the home is truly a thing of beauty. The backyard features rolling lawns, manicured grounds, and a lavish in-ground pool. In addition, the pool is surrounded by an abundance of luxe furnishings and a striking garden. With ample amounts of space, the outdoor entertaining space boasts a drop-down movie projection screen and multiple flat screen TVs, perfect for binge watching television and sporting events. Probably the coolest feature of the backyard is the outdoor pavilion that comes complete with grill and built-in heaters and steps away from a wet bar. The lavish furnishings are elegantly located beneath a sunlight roof and face one another giving guests the utmost relaxation and tranquility. The home gives off the impression that business is strictly business front and party in the back. We're willing to bet Luca had thrown a few team parties here. Had you on his cooking show and he made you eat bull penis pizza, which I do not think is what friends should do to one another. I cooked penis pizza. Oh, nah. That's out for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, Bob. What did you think of all that? He made me and Kyle eat, eat uh, you know, the bull's penis or private parts. Can't really taste it. It wasn't tender. It wasn't tender, right? Not at all. Bro, oh, he's a penis, of course. What are you expecting? I'm guessing that Kawhi was having a lot more fun around this time last year, celebrating his successes with the Toronto Raptors. Although the NBA was put on pause because of the global pandemic, at least he's afforded himself a luxury crib to quarantine in. I got some requests for this house tour, so it seemed like it was time to deliver. In this video, we're gonna look at where Kawhi Leonard calls home, like the multi-million dollar mansion he treated himself to, and more. Kawhi Anthony Leonard, also known as The Claw, is a professional basketball player and four-time all-star in the NBA, as we all know. Currently, he's signed to the Los Angeles Clippers as a free agent, and of course, over here in Toronto, we were also sad to see him go. Just to recap, he won an NBA championship back in 2014 with the San Antonio Spurs and stayed with them for seven seasons. Then, of course, he was traded to none other than the Toronto Raptors in 2018, eventually leading the team to victory with their first NBA championship ever last year. Believe me, everyone was so grateful. We even had that massive citywide parade to celebrate. <laughs> In terms of his personal life, Kawhi is notoriously private, but we know that he does have a wife or girlfriend. She just prefers to stay out of the spotlight. And they have at least one child together. Uh, you'll see the things that I like to do other than, you know, just playing basketball, like fishing or going golfing or just hanging out with my daughter, doing something in my day. And if I'm wrong about that, you guys can let me know in the comments. Kawhi's NBA career has earned him quite the success and his current estimated net worth is about $35 million. Not to mention that $103 million contract he signed with the Clippers. Prior to the gorgeous California home Kawhi is now living in, let's see where he called home while playing for the San Antonio Spurs all those years. Of course, this house is located in the rolling hills of San Antonio, Texas in the Timberwood Park area and is valued at around 650 k according to Realtor.com, which is a lot humbler than his current luxury abode. However, because a sports superstar lived in this house, it's still listed at 72% more expensive than similar houses in the area. Kawhi's previous home spans 4,770 square feet and has 6 beds and 4.5 baths, so it's still quite spacious. Looking at the common areas, there are double height ceilings and tall arched doorways inside, which I'm sure were perfectly suited to the 6'7 basketball player's comfort. The home lies on a green belt and has a fireplace upstairs, a wet bar, and two living rooms. From the photos, we can see that the main living room has a balcony from the second floor overlooking the space. There's a large open concept kitchen, formal dining room, and office. Each of the bedrooms looks spacious and seem to follow a similar design. Flooring throughout the house is a mix of tiling and carpet depending on the room. Kawhi's previous home looks like a classic Texas house that was comfortable and didn't stand out too much from the homes around it. Despite the 
surrounding property not being huge, it was still surrounded by beautiful green scenery and a stone wall for privacy. It was located in a hillside gated community among other upper middle class houses. His San Antonio home didn't have a giant pool or 10 car garage full of luxury vehicles, but just wait until you see what he upgraded to. It appears that aside from his main mansion, Kauai's most recent real estate purchase was a lavish penthouse at the Ritz Carlton residences right in the heart of Los Angeles. It makes sense he would buy a place here considering this new apartment is directly across the street from the Staples Center where the Clippers normally play. He can basically walk to ball practice. The penthouse cost Kauai around $6.7 million, but that's peanuts when you consider what he's making with the Clippers. Situated in LA's downtown core, the 4,280 square foot crib features a smart home system controlled by wall mounted iPads, two custom fireplaces, wood floors, glass walls, a steam shower, and more. In Kauai's Ritz residence, he has three bedrooms and 3.5 baths, and of of course, the master suite is nothing short of impressive. The floor to ceiling windows that grace the entire apartment are also in his room, so he can see the whole LA city skyline. Not to mention he has a separate seating area and the master bathroom is super spacious and decked out in marble. Kawhi's living room is open concept with an area for some music entertainment, TV time, a mini storage compartment and more. Another section of the common space offers a billiards and foosball table. There's also a chef's kitchen with breakfast area, dining room and additional private office. The penthouse was purchased through an LLC managed by his uncle Dennis Robertson as reported by the Times, but we know it's all for Kauai. The Ritz building itself provides him access to features like a fancy rooftop swimming pool, full fitness center, valet parking, and of course concierge services. Kauai also scored a pair of underground parking spaces with his condo purchase. If he needs to borrow some eggs or something, he can turn to some neighboring NBA alumni like ex-executive Jim Buss down the street and former point guard guard Lonzo Ball living in the same building. Now for the home where Kauai is most likely spending his quarantine, his main mansion in Rancho Santa Fe. He scored this place early 2019 or so and dropped a whopping $13.3 million on it, but the home is massive so I'm not surprised. Kauai's mansion was described as a Tuscan style estate located in an upscale neighborhood called Rancho Santa Fe. This affluent community is located in San Diego, which can be considered a homecoming of sorts for Kauai who played two seasons of college basketball at San Diego State. His estate sits on over 5 acres of land and the home itself has been extensively renovated and upgraded for modern living. Spending 13,000 square feet inside, his house is absolutely massive and offers 7 bedroom suites and 10.5 bathrooms. Kauai's custom master suite has not one but two dressing rooms and a spa style attached bath fit for a king. I love the design inside of this home because it's super classy. There are a lot of wood accents like some of the ceilings and doors and even the floor in the kitchen. Those dark features are complemented with many bright white walls, floor to ceiling windows in most of the common rooms and high vaulted ceilings. There are multiple rooms in the mansion to hang out and relax like the living and family areas and the spacious gourmet kitchen. Not to mention a dining room with full views out to the pool and yard and a more formal seating room that looks as if Kauai could hold meetings in it. He also has two offices where he can get some quiet time. If all that isn't enough, the home offers a full home theater with plush oversized lounger seats perfect to relax for date night. Other amenities Kauai has in his mansion include a full workout facility and dry bar and a temperature controlled wine vault in the tasting and bar room surrounded by a steel frame glass wall. Finally, the grounds outside may just be the most impressive part of Kauai's mansion. The yard centers around a multi-section pool complete with a raised spa, waterfall features and Baja decks. It looks like something out of a 5 star resort, I love it. Also outdoors, he has various patios to lounge, covered cabana, a tennis and sports court, and areas to dine outside and entertain. Not to mention, fruit orchards and grassy lawns fill out the rest of the property. So now we've looked at Kauai's homes, including his mega mansion Rancho Santa Fe, where he spends his downtime, his downtown LA penthouse for when he's working, and more. What did you guys think of the NBA superstars real estate? Okay guys, now read out a few comments from previous videos. On our updated Kylie Jenner house tour we just did, Shez Girl Rose said, I love it looks so so spacious and airy. Well done, Kara. Thank you so much, and I really like her new mansion as well. Perfect way to describe it. She's a lucky girl. And on our Jennifer Aniston house tour, Crystal Vickers wrote, Aw, she has a white German shepherd. I have two dogs too, but they're a little on the smaller side. Gotta love the pups though. I also got some comments requesting a house tour for Selena Gomez's new mansion, and I think I might just do an updated one for her soon. The new home looks beautiful. <laughs>
This video is for all you Kobe and Vanessa Bryant fans out there. Before his devastating passing, Kobe called Newport Coast home. Of course, Vanessa is still living in their family mansion these days. The couple actually own more than one massive home in Newport Coast, which isn't surprising considering Kobe was an NBA legend and the highest earning player. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Bryant family home where Vanessa lives with the kids, give the details of this mansion, and more. Vanessa Marie Bryant is a former model and music video vixen. She started her career as a teen and also met her husband, Kobe, at the same young age. In fact, the two got married when Vanessa was only 18. She had to drop out of high school and continue being homeschooled until she graduated because dating Kobe was getting her far too much attention. All of the chaos ended up being worth it though. The pair stayed strong for all these years and it was far from just a fling. Despite an almost divorce in 2011, Vanessa and Kobe made it through and were quite the power couple to envy. Not to mention they had four beautiful daughters together. Sadly, one of them, 13-year-old Gianna, was in the accident with Kobe on January 26, 2020. We here at Famous Entertainment were heartbroken about the tragic news. I always looked at Kobe and Vanessa as a very loving couple that had have overcome so much in the public eye. I can't imagine how devastating this could be for her and their loved ones. Our deepest condolences go out to them. Despite this truly heartbreaking event, Vanessa is carrying on as the strong and loving mother that she is and living out Kobe and their family's legacy. At the time of this recording, Vanessa is 37 years old and we can see from her Instagram she's spending time with the kids as well as celebrating Kobe and Gianna's lives and looking back on memories. Kobe Bryant joined the NBA directly after high school and played his whole career with the LA Lakers. He won a multitude of awards and is regarded as one of the greatest players of all time. But you already know that. All this success awarded Kobe and his family quite the luxurious lifestyle, but very well deserved. At the time of his untimely death, Kobe was only 41 years old and left Vanessa and their family with his estimated net worth of a massive $600 million. Before we take a look at the main mansion, we know that Vanessa and Kobe used to own three houses in Orange County, California. This seems to be the couple's favorite area as Vanessa's still there today. The three homes combined were worth over $18 million back then, and over the years the value has only increased. Vanessa and family used to live in this beautiful Mediterranean style mansion in a gated community in Newport Beach called Pelican Ridge, known for its gorgeous ocean views. The Bryans purchased this house in 2013 for $4.78 million and it was built back in 1997. The home was expanded and renovated and offered stone pillars, limestone and walnut floors. Their home in Pelican Ridge was 8,471 square feet of living space over two floors and had four full baths and three half baths. It sat on almost a half an acre of land and on the property there was also garage space for at least four luxurious cars. Walking into Vanessa and Kobe's previous house, you're greeted with a double height foyer and a lot of beige and champagne colors in the interior design. Looking at photos, it seems the mansion was done up in plenty of chandeliers and other extra fancy looking touches. It's a bit too flashy for my liking, but who am I? Although we didn't see all of it from listing photos, the master suite Vanessa would have shared with Kobe was a spacious one to say the least. It had its own sitting room, all marble ensuite bathroom, and a newly added walk-in closet and dressing room with custom finishes. Some custom highlights of the home include a paneled library or study room with a built-in shark tank, which sounds pretty crazy, as well as an 850 square foot home gym. There's also a newly installed state-of-the-art home theater with lobby entrance, stadium seating, and a wet bar. Apparently, the mansion even had a hair salon because Vanessa prefers to have her hair and beauty done in the comfort of her own home by a glam squad. I would definitely like that perk myself if I were her. Moving to the outdoor area and backyard, the Bryan's previous OC home offered flat stone terraces, an elevated lounge area with three fire pits, and a built-in cushion banquette. Of course, there was an extra deep free-form pool and spa complete with waterfalls and rock piles, and an outdoor kitchen and barbecue. So the home Vanessa and her family used to live in was impressive to say the least and had gorgeous views of the Osley coastline, but the new place they moved on to was even bigger. The Pelican Ridge Mansion was sold in 2015 at a record price for the neighborhood, no less, for over $6 million. Mind you, the couple did put in a plenty of renovations and add-ons. Now let's look at Vanessa Bryan's current family home, which is just 1.5 miles away from the one we just looked at. After selling their Pelican Ridge Mansion, the Bryans already had their bigger and better home in the works, in another Pelican-named community. Their new and improved mega mansion was custom-built, so it didn't even have any listing photos at the time. The home is located in a luxury 
luxury gated community called Pelican Crest in Newport Beach, of course. Whenever I hear Newport Beach, I always first think of my fave show, The OC, which I miss so much. But it is a very real coastal city in California and it's known for its large boat filled harbor. Kobe and Vanessa previously owned a few more homes in the same area as I mentioned, and even though it was a far drive from Kobe's previous workplace, the Staples Center, they clearly considered it home. The Bryans purchased the house in 2008 when it was halfway through construction for $9.45 million. But these days it's worth a massive 21 mil or more. They moved in once it was finished in late 2011. The Pelican Crest Mega Mansion has lots of privacy and security since it's a fully gated estate in a private community. Since the home was under construction, we didn't see many photos inside, just aerial shots, but Vanessa does give glimpses on her Instagram. The current mansion is 15,760 square feet and spans over four floors with an additional basement. It's quite hidden from the street due to the gates, but it has a visibly Mediterranean vibe like the Bryan's previous home. There are six beds, nine full bathrooms, three half bathrooms, as well as plenty of living and dining spaces throughout. From the home plans, we know the large basement was made with media, game, wine, and music rooms, plus an additional office and staff suite. Not to mention there was a sub-basement with an exercise facility or home gym in the works, complete with steam and sauna room. Finally, the Bryan's added at a home movie theater, which I bet is even better than their last one. And my guess is that if Vanessa had her own home beauty salon at the old mansion, she probably has one in their current mansion too. A building permit issued for the Bryan's residence also surfaced, calling for a two-level sport court. We can assume some of that square footage was put to use for that add-on. Outside the grounds of Vanessa's family home spans almost an acre of land and has sweeping views of the coastline. There's a large swimming pool and living area, as well as a terrace with seating, a barbecue, and fire pit. Additional gardens and grassy lawns complete the property with plenty of palm trees too. In terms of parking, the mansion offers a five car garage and sources say there's an additional underground parking for six more cars. With all that parking space on their lot, the Bryans also own a pretty impressive car collection. One of the most famous Lamborghinis ever built is the Murcielago. Vanessa, in fact, owns a yellow Murcielago and is the only one out there fitted with automatic transmission. Talk about special. It has custom wheels and yellow and black interior, and after the automatic transmission, it costs them over 400 k They own a Bentley Continental GT worth over 200 k and another Bentley Convertible too. One of Kobe's favorite cars they owned was his Ferrari F430, and he also had a Ferrari 458 Italia worth over 200k. The Bryant car collection also includes a Lamborghini Aventador, a Range Rover, probably to fit the whole family, a 1963 Chevy Impala convertible, and a Lakers themed 1967 Pontiac convertible, which was a retirement present from Snoop Dogg. So now we've taken a look at where Vanessa Bryant lives and the family's real estate in the Newport Beach area. Although we can't see much of the inside of her home, we know the place is massive and impressive. Even from the aerial views, you can see what a mega mansion it is. Even when Vanessa and Kobe were planning on getting a divorce back in 2011, the properties were all going to go to Vanessa's part of the settlement. At the time, they owned three homes in Newport Beach and they were estimated at over 18 million. Vanessa's mom was also apparently living in one of the homes then. Of course, this never ended up happening, but the couple happily shared the estates instead. And once they had their over 15,000 square foot mansion finished, they didn't need all three properties, that's for sure. What do you guys think of the Bryant family home and where Vanessa's living these days. If you guys know more about her mansion in Pelican Crest or what it looks like, tell me in the comments. Okay guys, now I'll be reading out some of your comments from previous videos. I'm always seeing what you guys have to say, so keep it up, and I might just share yours. From our recent Paris Hilton house tour, George Vreeland Hill said, Paris Hilton is an American icon and a woman who keeps getting better with time. Love you, Paris. I love her too. She's timeless. On the same vid, RM said, Watching this makes me so giddy. She's like my life-size, sorry Tyra, Barbie. A girl that is smart, can do, be, or have everything, and in pink. Loves. That's such a good way to describe Paris, I agree. Maybe that's why I've idolized her all these years. I love seeing all the positivity about her from you guys in the comments. It's so refreshing. And finally, on our Ozzy Osbourne house to our friend Skittle Boys said, Skittle Boys is in the comments. Much love from Skittles Nation. Good vibes only. Fame gang. Shout out to Kara, always fashionable. Ozzy rock legend. Thanks, Skittle Boys. We love you. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Vanessa Bryant's estate in Newport Beach, as well as the other mansion where her and Kobe used to live. What did you guys think about the Bryant's current family home, or from what you could see, anyways? Like I mentioned, be sure to let me know in the comments or if there's anything I missed. Also, tell me what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next vid. Bye.